Hello everyone, and welcome to Tabletop Obscura Presents Hoist the Colors. Wait, this Yay. isn't a Warframe stream? You lied to me. Chat, chat, just so you know, we need to draw players in somehow. <laughs> and sometimes, no. obfuscation. I don't have a problem, to... you have a problem. <laughs> No, look, I'll be honest with you, if I wasn't running this and if I didn't enjoy it so much, I would probably also be playing Warframe right now. But that's only because I got Hildren Prime. And it's I, such mm, a good game. Mwah. You can you can do the heavy stuff, I can do the fast stuff, and then we'll switch once we've maxed them both. <laughs> you know what, that doesn't sound like a bad idea, actually. Because we both got Hildren off of the same drop. We did, but I think we got early... us a little earlier. The only time I've ever wanted us to have webcams is just, just to see Nick's face when we talk about Warframe. Just what do you mean? You won't see his face, you'll just see the top of his head. <laughs> As his head some, somehow manages to recede into the desk. I can <laughs> probably do that. <laughs> just like, no, it will not be perceived, it's fine. But then, I won't be perceived either. Um, but how's everyone be perceived? Weekend? Oh, yeah, it was alright. I finished. Uh, I was. I had my my final scan for for my eight week gym challenge. So we lost, Ooh. lost, lost the numbers. Numbers hey, go burr. Yeah. Nice. Quack. I knew you could good. do it. Yes. I mean, definitely able to get to the eight weeks. Making sure I wasn't eating too much. Um, Tasty things like chocolate and hot mm. cross buns and yeah. Easter Easter lunch. Mm. Yeah, that was really hard. Yeah, no, I could imagine. <laughs> yeah, but it's over now. <laughs> it is. Oh, speaking of, I should probably figure out what I'm going to have for dinner. God, do we but do we put a poll up into chat, Matt, for it? Get chat to vote on what my dinner is. <laughs> Just meat. Nothing but meat. High protein meat. <laughs> what? I don't need more. No, I don't think any of us really need more. It just kind of happens that way. But, so everyone else has had a pretty good week. Uh, uh, family visiting, which has been lovely. Yeah. What's well, Baldur's Gate 3 from what I'm hearing? Yeah, forcing my sister to play Baldur's Gate 3 and laughing at her, which has been fun. Oh no. Um, it's very difficult to not backseat, like, drive the tactics in the battles. You know? Yeah. Oh, That's I can imagine. Struggle. Yeah, so I'm just sitting there buying my tongue while she's, like, targeting someone with disadvantage, where she could target someone with a sneak attack, like, right next to them. And I'm just like, <laughs> 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 just let her learn anyway. the game. Well, like, if there were if, there, if the lessons were being learnt, I would feel differently. But it's just, uh, yeah, every single battle thing. I'm just like, I'm, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's good fun. Um, the classic Baldur's Gate experience of you know you mess up one conversation, then you have to kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I uh, wonder how that could occur, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I, was, I was talking at the Goblin Camp, I was like, it's really well done, it's so cool, and like, just one failed dice roll later, it's like, well... Now they all have to die. Oh they no. They all have to die. Oh, like, no. imagine deciding, I don't like this NPC enough to try to push him off a cliff, and then everyone attacks you for it, and thinking it's the game's fault. No, no. See, the problem there is, <laughs> they didn't attack me, they attacked everyone else but me. Ooh, buttons. Yeah. Oh no, you were... You were getting attacked. You were just yeah. over there. They'd just get to you eventually. Eventually! The is, but the it's like, is, oh, this one random guy pushes Volo. Have to kill every all the tieflings. Yeah, yeah, let me just push this one major character that is pivotal to the lore of the entire world. And look, <laughs> if they had just gone and after me... And he made a me, cool book. I like his book. God. Book's pearl, yeah. If he had just gone after me, it would be fine. He just traced in the, uh, the, the uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons books that he did for the during that era of D&D, &D, where they did all the um, Faerun, like, lore books. 
Bryn from Bowler's perspective. Um, so he's got like a he's got like a like a pub run guide about his gate. It's fantastic. Like, um, Sadly, I don't have any books after. Uh, I don't remember if Mordenkainen's Tome of Foes or Xanathar's Guide to Everything came out first, but I have no recollect, uh, no understanding of anything that came out after those two because oh, this was well before. This is well before. This is for like the second edition of D and D. Well, not even second edition, like Whoa. and such as dragons. Second edition of the game. Forest. It was a good, it was a pretty good book. I was thinking of running the best humble uh, one. Yeah. So I got all Zenithar's, the four books. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but Modern yeah, no, Zenithar's Zenithar's of Foes party. had some amazing like background lore for races. Mm-hmm. Like the stuff that they wrote out for elves was. <laughs> You want to hear the best bit? Yes. Is that when they released the um, the compendium monster guide for when they did that thing where they like took out all of the monster abilities that mimic spells and just gave them spells instead. Um, oh no, Whoa. the other way around. They took all the spells out of creatures and gave them abilities that mimic the spells, so you couldn't counterspell them. Um, uh, anyway, what was that book called? It was like. That was um, a, I think that was a later Morden. Yeah, the later one. It was like a, it was like Morten a multiverse Kynes. something. Multiverse. It monsters? combined Bolo's Guide to Monsters and Mordekai's Tomb of Foes into yeah. like a combination release. But they gutted out all the lore bits, which is fine. Except if you had purchased Mordenkainen's or Volos on D and D Beyond, it rerouted those sections out completely, so you could not access that lore anymore from those books Fucking that you purchased. Stupid. Yeah, it was real bad. It's like, we've updated all the stat blocks and we've deleted all of that text from these monsters as well. Uh, mm. This is why when everyone was like, hey, d d is switching over to like a digital model. I was like, hey, that sounds actually pretty cool. You know, they're going to be doing PDFs. And someone was like, no, they're not doing PDFs. They're going to have their own built-in reader thing. It's going to be great. I was like, I have some concerns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't have to worry about that much anymore, though. No, I do not, which is great. I was saying me, but y you too. Well, I've had yeah, to... This is, there's this other um, tabletop RPG that I discovered a few years ago. Um, called Cthulhu? Oh, shit, what was it called? Oh, I'll have um... to ask Ian, he'd know. He, he invited me. Basically, it's just, like, everything that I enjoyed about D&D... &D, but it addressed like all the issues I had with it. Like <laughs> it made things simple in interaction wise. It's like if it doesn't have a tag saying it's this, then it's just not that. Sounds pretty obscure. Right? Yeah, it does sound. Yeah, for a tabletop game, I mean, yeah, it's it's it, it's in the realm of obscures for sure. Um, You're all terrible. I think it was the second edition game. of the game. So they they'd done the first one beforehand. Um. Py pyro? Pyro? Something about fire, maybe. Yeah, something. Something um, about a, a golem or a construct of some sort. I don't know. Out of curiosity, did anyone see uh, Z Bashaw's video today on grappling in AD&D? &D? I did not, but he does great stuff. It's it's insane. It should never have happened. <laughs> he, he made a wizard that just grew large and had 100% chance of grappling because that's how the rules worked back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds like AD&D. &D. Uh. Uh, muscles. Not that it got much better from 3rd edition. <laughs> and everyone was like, well... The flow chart. Yeah, the flow chart. But find a one was somewhat better. Like it was better. And, like, with how it's done in Pathfinder 2, it's just like, why did they do this in the first place? Like, this is this is, this is so simple. No flowcharts required. It's great. Mm. But, but even then, wasn't there that whole thing that, like, you had to reapply the grapple after the end of their turn or something? Yeah, you still do. Yeah. Well, no, because for a long time, it's like, if you grappled, that was, like, it. You didn't have to keep grappling them. Yeah, that's because we I'm were reading the rule all the way mm. through. <laughs> <laughs> funny that. Yeah, hmm. funny how that worked. Perhaps quite important in a rules-based game. 
right? Um, no. <laughs> we good. Which was yeah, specifically okay. relevant to, you know, creatures with the grab ability. Because they had to keep doing the grab and using their actions to do it. Ah. Uh, grabby hands. Such the grabby hands. Um, some back-end stuff first. Oh, sure. We'll go that way. Uh, Juliet may or may not be joining us tonight. They've had an exceptionally busy and tiring week at uni this week. Um, and it's almost like we're bringing her into a game at, what, 2, 3 a.m. in the morning? Well, something like that. But we've had this conversation several times, and I check <laughs> in with her every now and again to basically be like, are you still okay with doing this? And she's like, yeah, no, it's fine. It's good. I love it. So, you know, <laughs> I have player permission, etc. But no, I, we're not sure if she's going to be joining us tonight. If she does, she does. If she doesn't, she doesn't. But I'd already taken two weeks off with Easter and other cancellations and things like that. So I really want to get back into it tonight because I... Yeah. <laughs> Done. Pushing through. Pushing through, essentially. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's any other announcements. Uh, I have a throne. If you want to support the stream, because I keep being told I should be saying this more often, if you want to support the stream outside of like subscriptions or something like that, or if you don't feel like you can commit to once month payments, because the world is the way it is, but you just kind of want to throw some money at me, uh, you can go to the throne. I've got a bunch of things on there at the moment. Uh, any contributions to those will is pretty much contributing back to content that I do for the stream. Um, including, I was going to say Rust Hinge, but that got done recently. Thanks to a certain someone who will re remain nameless. Um, but I do have this book two of Gatewalkers and I'm probably... I don't think you do anymore, man. Hmm? 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 What, what happened? Mm -hmm. what? what? Speak up. No, nothing. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> Get on with your bad self. Uh, otherwise, I don't think I really have any more announcements at this time. I'm working on some stuff in the background, uh, writing up a bunch of content for some stuff that will be I will be talking about more in the future. But me and the other people on the team have kind of said, no, we, we want to have something solid to show people before we actually start you know, making announcements and talking about it and stuff like that. Because we don't want to say something and then, you know, six months down the track, no one's heard anything else about it. So, otherwise, let's switch over to the actual map. Ooh. Yarr! <laughs> <laughs> Remember? No, it's been a long time. It has been a long time. <laughs> what? 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 Um, so some, sometimes I forget how funny oh, I am, no. and then I see something, and then it reminds me, God, I'm hilarious, to at least myself. Can Rose someone please undeafen Sola? What? For everyone's sake. <laughs> um, no. <re> <laughs> hey, what's the duration of deafen? I think the Thank current version is a hour. No, yeah, that's right. It's for a day or something, isn't it? We've been in this whirlpool for a day. It's canon. It was, it was, <laughs> yeah, because it's not, it's, you didn't get deafened from a spell. You got deafened from a bane from a, a god. Yeah, no, that is right. Oh, shit. Is that like really permanent? N no. no, it's a, it's, it's the minor bane. Uh, okay. You just oh. pissed. Who did you piss off? Cthulhu. Uh, it's Cthulhu. Yeah, it was Cthulhu. <laughs> Um, but otherwise, <laughs> um, I think I mentioned this to my players, but um, regarding boarding ships and stuff like that, I switched over from using Token Attacher to uh, another module called Rideable, which means that you should be able to mount and dismount by using the M and N key, respectively. So that should make things a lot faster. Oh my. Whoa, did we get sponsored by Mars? Sponsored by Mars? I yeah, don't using know where using the M&Ms. <laughs> oh, there he is. Okay. Uh, uh, I was about to say, while mounted, the ship should go um, to the back. Uh, <laughs> Otherwise, the, um, 
the token rescue HUD things is still down the bottom. Oh, I see. Thank God. All right. Wash. Oh, and you can just drag yourself to dismount. Can you indeed? All right. Let's go. Yep. Mosh. Nope. Okay. I can't select Mosh even with the thing. I can. Really? Yeah. I mean, I can I can hover over the, and highlight the border, but I can't. Are, are you mounted, though? No. I don't believe so. That could be changed. Okay. I think you're mounted to, now. Yeah. Because I was trying to find... So, N and M? Uh, I don't even think you need N for dismounting. If you just drag your token off of the ship border, it dismounts and, you. Okay. Let me just... One second. And if you scroll over the, route, the boat and press M... Ah, oh, nope. All right, and then if I, it should automatically dismount here. Perfect. All right, I'm with it. And you should also see the the effect that you've got on your self, saying you take a minus two circumstance penalty. Wait, what? Um, that should be getting ignored. Because that Matt is a trying to, rule. Matt trying to throw me off the ship again. <laughs> oh yeah, so when you One do the time. reflex, when you do the reflex saves, make sure to uncheck that toggle. Yes. Because uh, that's a rule that's in place there for... Not a game where you're all sailors. For fuck's sake. Because <laughs> you know you're on a vehicle and it's swaying to and fro and it's hard to do things. Whereas for sailors, it's like, no, I just kind of move with the currents now. It's fine. But it has been over two weeks. So who remembers what happened last time? Um, we killed a sexing dragon. Uh, we killed a lady off the sexing dragon. The dragon got really upset. Uh, I think the dragon almost killed me or at least downed me well pretty close um and then we killed the dragon we killed the lady after having chased them here and now this massive whirlpool is here uh and we are sadly on the precipice i don't really have much choice about whether we go in or not joe's joe's just like oh it'll be fine this is how we get there and we killed we killed Sunshine because uh, we felt that having a plant <laughs> life aboard was uh, not conducive to the uh, the meat you eating we were sunshine? doing. Sunshine, did. <laughs> Man, that was a that was an easy baited reaction. <laughs> welcome, <laughs> Juliet. Hello and welcome. Hello. Just Sorry, quickly, I'm late. just quickly, we how's the it. zombies? Uh, it was very good. It was very good. We killed everybody. Yay! Yay. <laughs> and then you Yay, played zombies. Yay! Zombies. These two were wow. unrelated. This so. said the thing. What? 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 See, now huh? I'm lost. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where we are. Where is the Breathless Trench map? So. You underwater. are on your way to the Breathless Trench, which is an underwater Got it. D -d natural phenomenon. Uh, which apparently... You sound uncertain about that. I do sound uncertain about it, because that's kind of... It's a trench. Yeah. It's an underwater trench. And it has some very dangerous currents and has been known to destroy ships. Well, what few ships can actually make the trip underwater to try to navigate it? Now, your guide, Fisheye Joe, has said it's Oh my fine. god, I love Fisheye Joe. <laughs> I have a way to get you through it. I'll be your guide. And apparently, his way through is the maelstrom that you see in front of you. The swirling vortex of water and what looks to be void matter of some sort. We should have looked for freaking regular eye Joe. I trust Fish Eye Joe with my life. And that's, that's the spirit. You. you don't drown, though. It's fine. You probably won't drown here either. Am I asphyxiate? There's a three gold word if I ever heard one. 
<sighs> but no, you'll be fine. I've done this plenty of times. How many fingers does he have? Why has he done this plenty of times? Okay, you're asking how many fingers he has. That's an unfair question to ask of someone who pretty much has, like, webbed fingers, at least on one hand. Cool. So <laughs> he's plenty. He, does he just hold up his hand then? Uh, he doesn't When really he's counting? Help. He doesn't count. He just says plenty, you know, with a kind of a dismissive gesture. Oh, cool. I am I am eagerly looking. No, to, look, I have come back to, fine every single time. I'm eagerly looking to make this journey. God, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? I'm surprised you aren't already. <laughs> grumble. Grumble grumble. Grumble and thieves eat grumble cakes. Those people go to prison. Just ask the chief. So, any final preparations before we enter the breach? <laughs> Holding on, cutting sails. Do we have any uh, healing potions in, in our in our kit? You know, stash. Uh, uh solar, you are no longer deafened. Yeah, there's no, a healing know. potion moderate. Right. I, mean, I don't need a huge amount of healing, but just just a tad. I believe everyone should have a healing potion. Oh, that's right. I don't have my life shot on me anymore. Who shot that? Uh, I think you shot that. I picked. I, I think I picked that. up your gun and shot someone. With you it. shot Solar with I it. Did, that's yeah. right. Yeah. I remember people were really desperate and they were like, oh my god, we're so low on health, we're all gonna die. And I was just like, I don't think we are, I think we're fine. Mm. And someone was like, pew. Alright, uh, um... Yeah? Yeah? I'm gonna draw completed work. <laughs> Look, I... I think I shall take the elixir of life if no one objects. Go, Go for, for it. it. Lovely, thank you. It's so fine. I assume we, wait, well, I'm assuming we don't have a lot of time to like just you know do a proper rest or anything. Like it's like guzzle. No, we are rest. literally falling into the yeah, abyss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. No, no, no! Don't do that, Matt. Hey, oh, I was just inching you towards it, subtly. In we go. Into the Pulse breach. Pull through, Matt. There is does a magic. Does magic whirlpool water feel any different than normal seawater, Matt? Well, it's interesting because as you start to get pulled through, the scenery changes. It still appears like you are sailing through the water. You can see the fish going past very quickly as you're pulled. Under. I wave at them with uh, my free hand. A couple look panicked. But otherwise, it also looks as if the night sky is above you and also all around you. Mm. Oh, cool. The twinkling, oh, really? of stars, the twinkling of stars kind of intermingled with the movements of the fish. You can see celestial bodies moving. Some sort of multicolored cloud off in the distance. Fish Eye Joe, for his part, is cackling mildly as he holds on white knuckle to the front of the ship. You get the feeling that, you know, if he had his way, he would just be doing this without a ship. I'm standing next to him. This is where we find out Fish Eye Joe is, is... would surf if he could in the open ocean. I mean... <laughs> No one asked, but he once upon a time he did have a surfboard. I think he's really cool, and I'm standing next to him, and I'm going between looking at all the cool fishies, and then looking at him, and then looking back at all the cool fishies. He is. I'm trying to make sure that the ship doesn't capsize. <laughs> well, we are going to get to that. 
So, as I switch us over, the Breathless <laughs> Trench. That's a big skull. Yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, I know this map. You should know this map. I think this map featured in Trouble's Menacing Otari. It did. Cause yeah. I was looking Black. for underwater maps and Cham Peku just do the best. But there were some very good underwater maps and underwater library maps. Whoa. Whoa. That's crazy. I'm oh, just scrolling up. Well, let's let's do the full view of the map for gasp. There's a couple of variations on this map. One of them actually has the eyes glowing. It's fantastic. I would like to recall knowledge on the skeleton. On the skeleton? Mm -hmm. Go for it! Would you like um, a leshy lore check? Uh, nature is probably the best check. Yeah, yeah. Unless you have something oh. like megafauna lore or something. Can I hunt megafauna? it as my prey? <laughs> no, you can't hunt it as your brain. Okay. It's, it's very much dead and has not been reanimated at this point. Well, I'm just, uh, you know, I gotta ask, Matt. Nope, that's fair. I get a plus two bonus. It's, tough it's the same fun. as being one better proficient. Uh, Sunshine. As you look over this skeleton, you're having trouble identifying its point of origin. Uh, but you do notice that some of its bones are starting to move and shift. Squeeze me. So, mm -hmm. Captain Sorry, Archie, as you are flowing past the water rushing, you mm -hmm. need, well, as the pilot for the ship and the captain. So I would be more four in the ship because I was next to Fish Eye Joe. I really wish I had uh, a picture of him. I did really you? Do. You did mount. You should I am currently mounted. mounted. I've got the effect. Because I right. did preparations. Pilot with the check. Pilot go! I think that's suitable. That's one success. Do you want me to keep going? Uh, no, we're going to be going around the table. Uh, Solar. I what have no idea what you want me to do in this situation. Well... As we are descending further into the water, the boat is starting to shake an awful lot. It was not really designed for this kind of thing. Me neither. And it is actually starting to shake apart somewhat. Cool. So, what do you want to do via a skill check or something else to try to hold the ship together? Okay, I know the boring answer is just use crafting. Yeah, that is the boring answer. Can I sell you on something? <laughs> I mean, you could always give it a shot. You know, let's mean, make a deal, nice... huh? God. So, as a divine caster, religion is kind of my jam, right? Yep. Your bread and butter, even. Yeah. So, like, the religious skill. Yeah. That kind of works with my magic, right? That is correct. There's a whole bunch of bones right over here, yeah? There are a lot of bones, yeah. Can I use divine power to have some of the bones attach themselves to the ship? To kind in a of... way that, like, holds the ship together and provides some stability for a underwater adventure? Ooh, I like that. Yeah, give me a religion check. Fleet would absolutely love that. <laughs> I believe I believe your dice have targeted you for a copyright infringement on that one. No. Uncopyrightable. That's the problem. And then in sunshine. 
Well, with a 34, we have a critical success. Mush, it is all down to you. Um, uh, I mean, an athletics check to pull something to rope, sail, rudder, or, you know? Yep. I'm happy with that. I could do a sailing law check as well. Um, it is what was your just negative intelligence? Yeah. Does it I am trained with for sailing. Under the water? Do you have a sinking law check? Mm. <laughs> do you have a really deep areas of the ocean check? I have occultism, which I, I, which think is, that would... I don't, but that I can doesn't... roll occultism. If there's anywhere the occult exists, it's deep under the ocean. That's that's true. All right, there we go then. That's where Cthulhu's from. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next time I want you box. to lead with the whole negative intelligence thing. <laughs> mm. uh, I can roll something else. That's totally fine. That's um, probably better. <laughs> I will do a sailing law check. I am trained at sailing law. It's not a great bonus, but I think it's probably more applicable than athletics, unless but you are will accept I think athletics. Even with, I will accept the athletics, <sighs> but I think even with a natural 20, your occultism would not succeed. Oh, good. <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, much better. Well, that makes up from for the nature check from the sunshine. <laughs> did I roll a nat one? You did. Listen, I'm not good at nature. <laughs> it's my worst recall knowledge skill. I I mean, technically, that's religion is my actual worst, but that's what Soul is here for. Hello. Captain. Hello. You start ah. bring, calling your orders out to the ship. Uh, at this point, Joe is doing something, but it mostly just involves him you know, cackling like a bad man. But I was as... I was too ex distracted by how cool Joe is, you know. Right? He's the coolest. And as you're kind of doing that, the crew is immediately snapping into, you know, they're used to you as the captain. This is one of those points of authority where you really get to shine and your crew <laughs> is rising to the challenge. Hooray! Uh, Solar, you are gathering up the bones of the seafloor and gathering them around the ship. Whale bones attach themselves to this ship. Other bits of skull and bone kind of latching onto certain areas. It gives the ship a very menacing type appeal, but it is doing a lot of wonders to actually keep this thing together. The bone holding where wood breaks, breaks and cracks. Speaking of Mosh, using various uh, lengths of rope and other things, you do manage to lash the ship together, making sure it holds steady. Yeah. The Melody's Wake is not looking as pretty as it once was, but it is holding. It's functional. I like to imagine Solar is like hands clasped praying and then just ever so casually turns to the statuette of blue and says I'm thinking of getting into necromancy and then just <laughs> continues on <laughs> you get the slight reply I hear it's a gruff industry uh -huh. <laughs> the ship is jolted to a side as it starts to lock into the currents the water is rushing by even faster. The stars intermingled with the water, also rushing by, causing these kind of lines of light to course across the hull of the ship. Joe, continuing to cackle, goes, As is above, shall be below, the depths claim us! So, did, can I just can I just do a sense motive? Is he trying to drag us to a uh... Uh, watery graves. Uh, you could do a perception check if you like. <laughs> now I'm starting to have doubts. <laughs> Look, 
Sunshine is thinking, man, I really wish I knew magic. This is so cool. Achi. Huh? I can let you know that one, Fisheye Joe is not intending for your destruction or your disaster for this entire thing. <laughs> However, you do get the feeling he has, how shall I put this, ulterior motives? Of course he does. He's not I intending he's for our destruction. Individual. He's intending for everyone's destruction. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think he's a stand-up guy. I think he's really cool. I agree. In fact, um, if, if the captain says a bad word, I think we're going to mutiny. <laughs> um, mutiny! Maybe Fisheye Joe needs to be captain. <laughs> yeah. Mutiny, but, but how do we now get out of this place? Oh, oh no. This is why you don't mutiny in combat. This, this water is all around us. Oh no, I this bubble is shrinking. Yeah, and you know, Sunshine and Mosh can swim as well. We're not too fast about spending time in the water. This uh, is our life now, so be it. I will also How let you go watch. 10 hours or 10 minutes? Oh, it's like 10 hours. Yeah, it's a ridiculous <laughs> amount of time. Um, Archie, I will also let you know that as he's kind of got his fists in, in the air, um, kind of shouting and chanting and all the rest of it, there is definitely an aura of magic about him as if he is also putting in the effort to make sure the ship stays together. Gotcha. But navigating these currents as we get full further, deeper and deeper into the trench. Um, once again, this is kind of a chase scene, so I will be needing skill checks, one from everyone. Mm -hmm. Chase scene? What's chasing us? Well, you're kind of outriding your own demise. Oh. Can I can I do a survival check or a perception <laughs> check to notice the clearest way forward that's going to impact the ship the least? You absolutely can. Uh, which would you like, Matt? Uh, survival is acceptable here. Excellent. God, I need water after that cackle. <laughs> uh, one second though, because my triangle teeth... Plus one to survival checks to navigate bodies of water. That, this sounds... All right, so that'd be a 24. All right. Sunshine? Uh, I... I think what Fisheye Joe is doing is really cool. So I'm going to try to help him using my occultism skills. Occultism? Yeah. All right. Let's see you roll it. Um, awesome. I'm hero pointing that. <laughs> I've got to look cool in front of Fisheye Joe. All right, that's two rolls. Solar, Archie. <gasps> Gotta hold my breath just in case it fails. In case what fails? Everything. Okay. I try to maintain control of the ship. You absolutely can. There is a look of panic on some of the crew, especially as they kind of look into to Joe. Shook. That's a no. That that's is, four. That's a five. That's not a good roll. That's a no. Uh, I have two hero points. Uh, that's better. Hopefully, that's enough. <laughs> All right, and Sola. Uh, we're, if Highly we're, manages applicable, add plus two to that. <laughs> we're going into like the depths, depths, right? Oh yeah. You don't know where these lights are coming from, but there's definitely some magical stuff going on. You can feel that. Yeah. So, are we good for light or no? Um, you're good for light, but it's kind of dim. See, I don't want to use religion again, but that's how my spells work. So, religion to light. Light the way? Yeah. Any particular way you want to do this? Using the light cantrip. Any particular spin you want to put on the light cantrip? Y yes, but it's not a good one. Um... 
Can I... Yeah. Okay, so you know the Green Lantern, right? Yeah. Who? Light Construct Mecha Shark. <laughs> well, I believe the new light spell does allow you to send out, like, dancing lights and things like that. But give me that religion check. Come on, it's a Mecha Shark. What do you want from me? For you to be out of hero points. Wow. That's 20. <laughs> I'm very much an all-or-nothing person. It would seem so. And with that, because we did come close to not actually having enough points. To there. The ship moves on. Matching the currents and flowing through it, the light from the mecha shock from this con metal construct. Going forth before you, lighting the path. As Fish, Fish Eye Joe continues to chant, and we see the water rippling past even faster. Sunshine, you don't feel like your uh, occultism was super helpful, but you I feel was like so helpful. You are learning so much from him, like so much. You're this is gonna be great. Aw, yeah. But as you are navigating the trenches, all of you start to feel a sudden tightness in your chests as it becomes a little bit more difficult to breathe. No, it doesn't, Matt. Man, would you say that we're under pressure? Under pressure? Kind of. I can breathe underwater, Matt. Do you want to give me I'm a Leshy plant. Lord check, Sunshine? Sure. Oh, no. I will give you a Leshy Lord check. Are you saying that uh, it's going to cost uh, even Sunshine more PP to use their moves. Haha, <laughs> you said sunshine. <laughs> sunshine! Mm -hmm. You do in fact get the feeling that you're going to be fine with this. Yeah. Uh, ah, mold breaker, I see. This does actually feel kind of like room <laughs> in some regards. As you kind of seen the water rush past, you're Pretty sure you even see movement amongst the seaweed that goes beyond the currents themselves. I wave. They Hello. wave back. <laughs> hey, friends. Well, that's Sunshine's check. What's everyone else doing? Um. The sense of euphoria is also starting to come over you. Oh, hell no. I'm going to medicine. Medicine. Medicine um, is one of the checks I've got written down. Where's my... Especially did I already... This is going to be a danger to the entirety of the crew. Yep. Oh. Oh. That was the wrong button because things happened. Oh. That was the wrong button? Yeah. I... Something came up. <laughs> You want to try rolling again? There we go. There we go. Mm. Was that supposed to be medicine? Yeah. What the hell? You I mean, it's okay? a good roll. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get there. You, you got <laughs> this. I'll get there. I believe in you. There we there go. There we go. Okay. Christ on a cracker. Uh, with that euphoria, Mush doesn't really. You know, that doesn't seem too sus. He's a happy guy. Uh, yeah. Can he just do a, a jump for joy with acrobatics? <laughs> uh, you could do acrobatics if you like. I, I Yeah, at this stage, I don't know what Wash could do. Like, if you're happy to accept athletics again, but like, you know, I'm trying to shake it up. Um, um, athletics is also what I've got to written down here to kind of just uh, tough it out and tough it through. Yeah. Look, oh, yeah. Mosh, you can just hold your breath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this isn't super an issue for you. I feel like other groups would be struggling a lot more with this. 
Now, Sam has stepped away for a second, but with the successes I have already, we are good to go. I'm so good at Lashy lore. You were successful. But, Solar, you start administering to the crew. Uh, this is a kind of deep sea gas poisoning of some sort. Uh, hasn't really been named that much, but it's known as the Diver's Sickness. And it's particularly known for um, divers who do it like free diving. Uh, Mosh. Hypoxia? Maybe. This is a fantasy world where they don't have fancy scientific names for everything. Like what? the Benz? <laughs> yeah, like the Benz. But yes, this is very much akin to nitrogen poisoning. I see. Oops. That doesn't happen when you're going down, though. That's what happens when you're coming up, Matt. Ugh, everyone knows that. <laughs> well, you know my answer to that, yeah? Yeah. Magic? A wizard did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause this is a high fantasy world with a lot of magic and weird stuff just happens. Uh Mosh, you're able to just kind of barely even register it. It's like your your body goes, huh, this is not a gas that should be taken into my body, and just closes mm. it off. Mm. And everyone else seems to be having a great time, so you know. Uh, whereas for you, Solar, it's very much a case of, oh god, oh god, where's the oxygen kits? However... Oh my goodness. Are we across the screen now, or do we need one more? You got one more left. Where is it? Here it is. It is gargantuan. Good, good. I have to make sure. Mm. Oh, he's back. Oh, wait, oh. no, this is the squid. No, this hey, is a squid. proper kraken. Mm hmm. Just what I said. What's crack a lacking? No, he doesn't look big enough. Can I, with a crafting check, we're at negative one, I should add, fix a magnet to the front of the ship and then hold a magnet out in front of the ship? Oh my god. Can yeah, I troll go. physics? <laughs> I think we need troll physics. That's better. That's the scale I want. What's crack a lacking? But. A Kraken does rise up from the depths and begins to chase mm. your ship. You get the feeling that this creature feeds off the detritus and other hapless creatures that find themselves in here and departing. That's miserable. Um. It is gorgeous. So you're saying itself. he's upset we stole his bones? A little bit. Also, you know, fresh meal. Mm. Can I hunt this Kraken as my prey? You can hunt this Kraken <laughs> as your prey. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> I take it um, we're still in chasing then? You're still in chasing. The, what's the light situation at the moment? We have a... Mecha shark. Construct shark made of light kind of in front of us. So the yep. light situation is pretty good. But as in, I'm... like, does the Kraken have any light sensitivity? As best um, we can tell, like, shirking from the light at all? Not that we can properly tell. Right, okay. I would like to tell the Kraken to go home, or I am going to stab him. I want to say- like to make an intimidation chat. <laughs> uh, do you- what languages do you know? Thalassic. You, you're gonna try Thalassic? I'm down one. for that, then. That's the ocean one. It is the ocean one. And Krakens are somewhat magical. Yeah, I didn't think that one was stick. Ooh, I'm scary. So scary. Go home, Kraken. Don't you want to go to your home?
All right, that's what Sunshine's doing. What is what is everyone else doing? I'm just on the back of the ship shouting, Kraken, go home! <laughs> um... Hum. Mm. Or probably more properly for Sunshine. Are you Kraken? You better be going home or I'm gonna stab ya. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, instead of piloting, I, I will shall use diplomacy to inspire the crew to greater feats. As they're looking at the Hulk being chased by a Kraken, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Diplomancy. I feel like hiring manager would work for this one. Yes, I will have hiring manager. Yuck! That's pretty solid. That is pretty solid. I like feeling like a fighter when I'm not a fighter. I really <laughs> enjoy how you can see how um, some of us are using skills that we've invested a lot into, and some of us are being silly with it. <laughs> I mean, someone's gonna do the thing. That is very true. All right. In both regards. <laughs> we have Solar and Mosh left. Um, again, there's not a lot that Mosh can do. Um, if you're happy to accept another athletics check, that's obviously the way he'd go, but, um, otherwise I could do nature or acrobatics. I mean, nature would work. Nature would work. Let's do a nature check. Ah, oh, look at that. That's solid. And solid. And solar. Solar? Are you muted? Are you even there? Nick is indeed muted. Okay, so. <laughs> A needle pulling thread. Here's my problem. I'm out of hero points, and the best I idea is. I hero points. Oh, yeah, no, I use that. Yeah. Oh, um, no, no, that was. You, you, have you used three so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah, okay. Yeah. Incredible. I've been rolling bad, and this is only going to get worse from here on in. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would like to use a skill I'm not trained in. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you said we were doing silly things. Um, <laughs> using a combination of bullhorn, my natural ability to do a laser light show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my knowledge of the thalassic uh, language. To help the intimidation along by telling the squid to fuck off. So intimidate? Yeah. All right. Let's see it. Good luck, everybody else. Silly squad! It's not bad. No, that is very true. It's not bad. Captain Archie, you inspire the crew to greater heights. Uh, to pull together in this very stressful situation. You get the feeling there might be some words later on. However, for the time being, the crew knows what's up and none of them want to die and are looking to you for leadership. To which you stand up and give an encouraging speech and everyone gets back to work as the ship continues to sail onwards. Um, as for the Intimidation crew, the, the Squid, the Kraken, seems um, not discouraged, shall we say? I rattle my saber at it. <laughs> I use for more light. For a moment there, I thought you were going to say you rattled the bones. <laughs> Well, that wasn't Sunshine doing 4d10 damage to the ship. That was the Kraken doing 4d10 damage to the ship. Oh, I thought you were just going to say Sunshine takes 23 damage, and I was going to say, okay, Matt, that seems fair. Oh, no, no, that's the best part about this chase. None of the damage is going to happen to any of you. It's happening to the ship. Well, the ship has hardness. It does. All right. Second round for this obstacle, as the Kraken approaches ever so closer. 
Hmm. Okay. Does the Kraken look friendly? <laughs> um, considering it has already lashed out at the ship and kind of taken some of the back back end boards off. All right. Well, in that case, um... our spell attack rolls valid rolls for this chase. Uh, if you want to use Arcana. What? <laughs> what? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So you're doing a, an attack roll in place Just like of a... Just a warning shot, I guess, but a 19 misses? <laughs> yeah, no, because it's, it's a, not an actual encounter. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to do a warning shot to freak freak them out. Well, that will be a success in that regard. What's everyone else doing, though? I am removing the tentacles from the rear of the ship with extreme prejudice and fire. Fire? Completed work. So, athletics or an attack roll? Okay, I'll just use completed work. That's slightly better. So, um, I will roll that. 31. That's a good roll. It's a good roll. Solar, Archie? Uh, how accurate is the map? Is is there actually a big skeleton of a long dead sea serpent? There is in fact a long dead skeleton of a sea serpent. Would I be able to jog the memory of the bones for one last meal. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know, I kind of do like that. Give me a religion, Jack. That's a pity. All right. Captain Achi, it's down to you. What do my crew do? I don't know. <laughs> I hope they do better. Um, hmm. 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 Where is it? There it is. I love chase scenes. I love them so much. Um, <laughs> I oh, am yeah. going to cast the captain's call in an attempt to deceive the Kraken to make it think that we're splitting off in a different direction. Ooh, I like that. Uh, deception or Arcana? Deception. Go! <gasps> no, you do have better! I hear a point. Fuck you! Wow. As you continue to accelerate ahead, I double check everyone's successes for this round of things. <laughs> As Sunshine gets a hero point. Oh, cool. And Archie, apparently. Looks like chat doesn't want you all to fail. But, as you get closer and closer to your destination, Fisheye Joe turns to look at you, Captain Archie, and says, There it is, lad! There's the gap! And sure enough, there is, a, there is a narrow gap scarcely 20 feet across it. The Kraken will not be able to follow you in here. And I say that as you continue to approach this gap, and you're noticing a lot of, um, how should I say this, effigies and other kind of magical signposts that are put up. Various skeletons of aquatic creatures impaled upon stakes and other things, draped and attached with seaweed and other freshening rune marks. Seems homey. Righto. There it is, lad. You got this. 
I believe in you! Yeah. As a student of school, um, I know of the, the, um... Who's the equivalent of Newton in this world? Oh god. Who would that be? That yeah, guy. that works. Oh look, I'm sure um, there's some sort of scientist somewhere. So yes, um, equivalent of that guy, uh, something something, third law of physics. Uh, <laughs> I uh, direct the Q, the Q, the crew mm. to aim. It is. <laughs> to aim the cannons uh, towards the kraken as it will both propel us forward faster and hamper the progress of said Kraken. Well, Kyo kind of nods out a quick, yes, Captain! And he starts to let out the orders as the cannon fire happens. You manage to squeeze the ship through the slight crevice. Oh my god, did we complete the chase? Yippee! Nailed it. I'm waiting for the butt. As you kind of make okay. your way through, the cracking kind of latches to the mouth of it. And you know enough about squids to know that this thing should be able to get through pretty easily. Because as long as their beak can get through, the rest of them can get through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And its beak is absolutely biting in your direction, but it does not go any further. Oh. Neat. As you come through, the trench opens up into what looks like a vast underwater cavern. We're still kind of seeing the stars above us now. They're less around and more kind of attached to the ceiling. You're not sure if this is something that Joe is doing or a natural occurrence for wherever you find yourself. But sure enough, ahead of you lies a temple. Joe, for his part, turns to the rest of you and goes, Good work! We all made it safe and sound. Um, Grumble. It, it's daytime right now, correct? Like, Technically, when we went in here, it was daytime? Technically, yes. Sunshine has just now noticed that the sun is not here anymore. Um, <laughs> and he's gonna turn to Sola and go, Arr, Sola, um, where be the sun? doesn't seem in the in its proper place and he just sort of points up the druids forgot to uh, assign a substitute today <laughs> master sunshine are you aware of the concept of being under something Arr. okay and i'm just gonna leave it at that and continue on Arr, but it's just water. Should go. Sun goes through water. No, we're in a cave now. Are we in a cave now? It, it's your dog. It's Ma unsure. Matt said a ceiling, so I I assume we're in a cave and not just a other trench. I will say Matt? it is very cave-like. If we're um, in an other trench, then the kraken just goes over top and comes at us. For those of you who have played Elden Ring, the inspiration for this kind of area was drawn from the um, underground areas in that. Oh! oh, 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 oh. I haven't played Elden Ring. No. Can't wait to be surprised by the horrors. No, 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 uh, not not horrors. Beautiful scenery. It is beautiful scenery. When we go it is on break, incredible. I'll grab I'll grab some of the screenshots that I have online. I can't remember the name of the place, but it's positively beautiful. And as you kind of make your way towards the temple, uh, it does look very beautiful, all in all. Uh, there's some sort of magical light that suffuses the area. As this place seems to have, it, have its own light. 
But at this point, Joe just kind of sits down on the, de on the deck looking very pleased with himself. Barely a scratch to the ship as well. Well done. Well done. I feel like we're about to come into that scene from Sinbad where all the sirens pop out. Can I grab one of the sources of light? Or is it sort of just diffused? Um, you go and reach out to it, and it kind of feels like dust for a couple of moments. And then you're kind of, you have enough knowledge of nature, it kind of feels like plankton or something like that. Hmm. Do not give it the Krabby Patty. Do not. Me. Yay. There's plankton in here. Wait, are you gonna throw science at me again? Oh no, I'm not. I'm just really hoping we don't uh, spend a week down here, because then I have to look at the starving rules. <laughs> Specifically the starving rules for leshies, which are even weirder. They are a lot weirder. Oh, uh, do you, do you mention this out loud though? No, no, I'm keeping that to myself. All right, that's fair. It's only been like an hour so far, if that. Yeah, it hasn't been long at all. I haven't. I'm not worrying about starving. At least till like five days in, then I might start thinking about it. So. What are people doing now? Any conversations uh, that are to be had? Any discussions? I'm guiding the ship, making sure we don't hit the sides. Um... Are there any... I'm gonna look at the building temple thingy. Yep. Um... Are there any, like, um deities of, of common leshy worship or anything? Um, Something I could, like, can I leshy lore it? You want to give leshy lore a shot? I'll try it. Give it a shot. I'll give you a leshy lore. Uh, do, do, do. I'm assuming I can't hunt prey on the building. No. Okay. Um, looking over the temple, you kind of see that it's a mishmash of architectural designs. You don't particularly recognize any of them, but it does feel a lot like Miranda Bay in that kind of, you know, a lot of diverging cultures and societies have come together to build just a one building. Oh, okay. Uh, you do recognize some deities amongst them, or what you think are deities. And you're pretty sure one's a leshy one? Oh, cool. What's his name, Matt? Or you her don't name. Remember. Or their name. Oh, it would be there. Oh. I can't... Mm. Is it something I could probably hero point my way into remembering, Matt? <laughs> probably not, no. Okay. But... Leshtifer? Really? <laughs> Who's that supposed to be going to? I um, assume that's the deity now. Oh, okay. Name that NPC, Leshtifer? Alright. The Leshy de deity, Leshtifer. <laughs> Just gotta put that down in my notes now. So I do- do I remember that it's named Leshtifer? <laughs> <laughs> it is a minor deity of certain plant life minor things like shrubs and bushes and things and lumps of seaweed I don't need a god so I see no gotta here except for me <laughs> see the worst part is that I'm gonna mention this at Pathfinder Society, and I've got at least two or three people who play Leshies, and I know they're just gonna latch onto it. <laughs> they're gonna love Leshtifer? 
See, the thing is, then you've got me, your other player who plays Aleshi, who is like, I see no god here, except for me. <laughs> Yo, it's just the looks I get from the ever Pathfinder GM, like Pathfinder Society GM, where it's like, uh, that's okay, this is fun. <laughs> oh, bless him so much, he puts up with my shit. Um, <laughs> otherwise... What is everyone else doing? Solar? Mosh? Mm. Oh, I'm uh, also gonna walk back to the bow. So okay. I can hang out with, with Fisheye Joe. I'm probably just gonna do a sweep of the surroundings with my scope. With your scope? Uh, scope. Yeah. Go for it. Your mm. scoped great pick? Yeah, exactly. A scoped anchor. Why, don't we all have one of those? Mosh, as you kind of take in the scenery, um, one of the things that immediately becomes noticeable to you is on the floor of this cavern appears to be the remains of what used to be a city. Oh! Um, we, d we did it, guys! We <laughs> found Matlantis! <laughs> I say the remains of the city. The bones of the buildings are still here, but mm. coral and other sea life has just kind of overgrown them. Uh, this definitely feels like aquatic ar architecture, though. So we're but... not. This is not a sunken city situation. This is a city that was always underwater. So it's been like kind of uh, formed out of the coral and the stone and the everything. Yes, Let's see. but. The city doesn't really have much life except for the natural life of the fishes around you. Yeah, would I be able to know? I mean, I'm not very well traveled. Yep. I don't know if I could use like a coastal law check to kind of gauge what sort of creatures would have. Like, what people would have lived in this city? Like, would it be sea devils? Or... Um, coastal law will work. Alright. Hmm. I thought we were way out of the depth of coast. Yeah, 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 yeah. I imagine this is not going to be particularly great, but... It's a specific question about what kind of creatures would potentially... No, you're you're all right, Matt. Yeah. I'm just like, I could have been using my littoral lore this whole time. <laughs> I would allow littoral, oh, no, littoral lore for this question. That's too specific. <laughs> No, littoral um, and coastal are the same thing. Shh, no, 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 they've got different words. <laughs> One's fancier and therefore more obscure. But, Mosh, with your coastal law check, I can let you know that it was pretty commonplace for the people on the island to have traded with merfolk. And this does look like the kind of place where merfolk would hang out, even if there were just kind of more deep sea folk. So I imagine that they don't have like steps or anything. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. Mostly a lot of silly open to have portals. steps underwater, anyways. I, yeah, I'd look. I was going to make a joke about ramps, but we're going to leave that. Uh, mostly just open portholes. There is a lot of um non Euclidean designs around the place. Mm. Um, you do also notice about the place, however, that uh, despite it being bereft of sentient life, shall we say, uh, people have been doing some decorating. Oh. And much like the signposts that were what looks like signposts at the front, as you kind of came up to the crevice, they seem to be here as well. Is what do they say? Enough of you kind of, um, know Thalassic. They seem I to think be we of... all know Thalassic. Nope. <laughs> uh, all except Marsh. Uh, they seem to be warnings of impending doom to all who approach. Well, that's not good. Are um... Joe, there seem to be signs warning of impending doom. Are those just sort of like, um, they're not, 
are those like are they gonna make good on them threats or or are those sort of like the empty threats like um trespassers will be shot sort of thing yeah. oh. you know when you get kicked out of a place and they don't want you to come back so they change the locks that that that's not that's not how that works that's that, that's kind of what's going on here we're supposed to be here this this area is supposed to be open to everyone but you know the sunken coven kind of came in and kicked everyone out you see ah uh, so the, the coven of gatekeeping you're almost there sam you're almost there <laughs> Are, where's these um <laughs> these locks you're talking about oh no that's that's kind of what the totems are for it's it's fine i dealt with it are okay don't worry sunshine you're with me you'll get through this okay i nod feeling a little safer and more assured. Because after all, Fish Eye Joe is here. <laughs> he does have a very bright smile, if a little disturbing. Disturbing to other people, maybe. Maybe. Definitely. Solar, Achi. Hey. Mm -hmm. What are the two of you doing? Scanning for witches. Scanning for witches? That's a good yeah. call. You want to give me a perception check? Sure. Uh, regular or secret? Um, everyone else is doing secret. You might as well. We. So because that's how you're answers. supposed to make those types of checks. Yeah, but people on stream can't see them either. They get a lot of question marks, and it's yeah, yeah. They they get to enjoy the suspense as well. But that it's is very true. Solar. It is just on the edge of sight, but you do see that the ship is being watched or followed. Like invisible shapes are moving through the water. And they're just kind of watching, waiting, seeing what you do. Hmm. I don't like that. I'm going to be training my visor on them in case I need to laser. At one point you see one try to approach, but then stop. And then just kind of continue to follow, watching from a distance. Yes, you do that, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that's said in Thalassic, so they know. <laughs> sure. Enachi, what are you doing? Controlling the ship from preparing people in case there's a combat. There is still a sense of unease amongst the crew, which is kind of... You kind of expect it considering the situation you're in. But now that the waters are a little bit more relaxed, this kind of feels similar to as if you were sailing in the nighttime sky. It's not as anxious as being chased through a trench, shall we say. Gotcha. Eventually, however, you do reach the edge of the temple and Fisheye Joe approaches you Captain Archie and says, Well, this will be about as far as we can get the ship. We'll have Ooh. to make the we'll have to go the rest of the way. I wanna say on foot, but um We're underwater. Mm. Uh right. Sunshine part pipes up. Arr we'll have to go to the rest of the way on leaf. See that works. Sunshine's got the idea. Now, do, do you have some way to breathe underwater, or should I do something? 
Do I have a wand? I just breathe underwater. What breathing? My goodness, what does that do? How it costs water breathing. Up to five the creatures. Spell description, man. Yeah, no, I put it up for the screen. Jeez. Oh. Um, I cast water breathing on myself, Mosh, Solar, the rats, the rats, and who else needs water breathing? I don't um, think anyone else needs water breathing. Joe kind of wriggles down the shirt, the, the tunic, the top he's wearing, and you kind of see some gills there. Ew. He's got the in's mouth look about him, as the kids say. Uh, I'll be fine. Uh, Wendy kind of pipes up and goes, I will take care of the ship, Captain. It's fine. Woohoo. Are we taking Blue with us? Considering Are that's the whole point of this? To? I believe we're trying to bring Blue back to life in down here, right? Oh, okay. Because this is where Blue was bound. This is where Blue was cursed. Well, I think if anyone should move Blue, it should be Sola, because they have the best relationship. Yes. Solo, you detach her? So long as she's okay with it, yes. Oh, she's happy to. Cool. Well, you get the general vibe of happiness to do this. Have you ever played a game called Banjo-Kazooie? In the backpack. Oh, okay. I mean, Crash Bandicoot would probably make a little bit more sense here. I've never played Crash Bandicoot. Right. Since when really? does Crash wear a backpack? Yeah, I was not a PlayStation kid. Oh, okay. I mean, I got to play it once or twice. I got to go to other people's houses. Crash didn't have a backpack. Well, no, but he had the mask thing. Yeah. Alright, let's head to a weird temple with some weird old ladies. I think that is one way to put it. All that said, however, do we want to take our break now? Sure. sure. You know what? Sure, I could do a relic. I mean, <clears throat> go do a bio break. <laughs> All right, everyone. We are going to have a short bio break to stretch our legs, refill our coffee cups, get drinks of water, all that other fun stuff. I'm probably going to run ads during the break and do the pull up. Uh, otherwise, I hope everyone has been enjoying our kind of return to Hoist the Colors. I've been looking forward to this for so damn long. Um, I hope that's kind of come out in some of the way I've been voicing a certain NPC. But when we come back from the break, we, they will be entering the table, the temple, to kind of do a little bit of extra fun stuff and maybe some combat and stuff. But we hope to see you there. See you soon. Hello, everyone, and we have returned. Yay. Hello. Squid are strict carnivores, so it should really be between Archie, Mosh, and Matt. As I'm very sinewy. I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite. <laughs> to a kraken. And I think Archie would be tastier than Matt. Yeah, I considering, considering Matt is, uh, is not, uh, Corporeal? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the pole's not, not working. Matt's before. too obscura. Yeah, right? well, I haven't. Um, Just because you haven't done something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It looks like the pole is not working for Sunshine on mobile devices. Won the but yes, Sunshine did win. Woohoo! Uh, what does Sunshine yeah. win, though? I'll look into Lakutos. I'll look into seeing what we can do about that. Because I would like to work for everyone, not just for those on Destiny. Because I know I have people who are kind of 
coming from mobile and also on consoles and things like that. Yeah, Twitch. Yeah, Twitch used to have an app. What happened to the app? All I told uh, I mean, I used the phone app. Well, it used to have a desktop app as well, but I got a notification yeah, from them saying, hey, we're not going to be supporting it anymore, and you're probably not going to be able to use it very soon. And I was like, okay. Weird flex Twitch, but... Yeah, I don't understand that. Probably too expensive to keep it up and going. But, um, before we jump right back into it, I did want to have a quick thing. For all of... For everyone who is listening or watching this later on YouTube, I just wanted to say a heartfelt thank you. I have been watching the analytics for the VODs as they've been going up onto YouTube. And the uptick has been exceptionally great to see. Um, I know this is kind of a small stream. We kind of stream it off hours. It's... Well, we're in Australia. <laughs> And I don't know, I think these are great hours for Americans <laughs> to watch things at. Right. And apparently it's good for a lot of people in Europe as well, which I'm noticing that there's a pretty big uptick, uptick from over there as well. It's just been really great to see, and I want, just want to take the, a moment to thank everyone who's been supporting the stream for everything that we're doing here. Um, I want to be writing more games, because... Twitch has pretty much told me at this point that video games is kind of pointless for me, which, you know, sad, but, you know, it means that's something that I can do just to purely relax, which has been fantastic. But I do enjoy GMing an awful lot. I'm looking forward to running Rust Tenge in the future and for whatever happens after Hoist the Colors is finished. Though I think we have a good idea of what we're, what we're doing next. I've completely forgotten. Something. I think we want to do a uh, 10 to 11. Or um, not 10 to 11. 11 to 20. Stolen Fate, I think it was. I think it's cool. I think, I think that was definitely something that we talked about, and we were like, yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah. I'm still kind of keen for that, honestly. Like, it's been a while since I've run something 11 to 20. Um, I would be continuing Hoist the Colors, but... It's a case of the plotline I have for it does kind of close up at level 10. I have another plotline in mind, but because of everything that's happened for me professionally, which I can't get into details about, um, I've had to shift the focus of development for Hoist the Colors to being a little bit more personal and bring it into my own personal project type of things. So it's going to take a little bit longer and take up a little bit more uh, creative space than it was originally intended. So we oh. get to have a comeback season when everyone supports us and when we get, we're going to have a cult classic of this first season. And then we're going to have a revival season and we're going to completely jump the shark in it. So Literally. Literally, yeah. Literally, There's going to yeah. be like, like five different combats of Sunshine jumping over sharks. It's going to be really cool. And you know, we'll have full module support. At least that's the plan. So all the ships will all the ships will have their own compendium complete with their own module support. It, I have a lot of plans for it. It is neither here nor there. How about we all get to the cauldron itself? All right, let's go kill some old ladies. Oh, cauldron, because witches are there. Yeah, you, you see what I did there? I thought it was exceptionally clever of me. No, I, I still don't get it. We'll do it. We'll fight the Horned King. <laughs> But, as you approach the cauldron, uh, you start to get closer and closer, and you kind of start seeing Joe starting to lag further and further behind. Uh, his... er, Joe, you're, you're, you're falling behind. Keep up. No, no, I, I'm fine. I, I'm, f I'm fine. As he says this, you can kind of see that his mouth is becoming more and more uh, whale-like. Even Like the... filtery or sperm whale? Uh, kind of how I described it before. Kind of like filtery kind of thing. I see. But as he gets closer, you can see that he's turning more and more fish-like, less human. Icky. He seems determined to continue, but um, he is starting to slow down. 
And um, which is weird. You think he'd speed up considering he gets more fish-like? Yeah. And various rune marks are starting to appear over his body. I would like to identify those runes. Sure, that's absolutely normal. can. Would you like to uh, occultism? <clears throat> occultism, but would you like to designate him as your target? Uh, he is absolutely my hunt and prey for this. Beautiful. I'm, I'm, it's not even really a question, is it, Matt? No, no, it's not. I get a plus two bonus to it. I just think it's funny. All right. Sunshine, as you kind of give the markings an examination, you also notice that some of the... Uh, m magical markers that have been placed around the around the area are also starting to glow. He's been cursed. Oh, neat. Uh, his whole. Can I just like, yeah, take I'll... one of the magical markers? Would that seem to weaken the curse? Does that it's... seem like a good idea, Matt? You get the feeling that the markers are more to signify to him, you know. You, if you cross this point, it's just going to get worse. No worse, Curse. Uh, you get the feeling that when he was ousted from this temple, uh, his reference to changing the locks, uh, these are the locks that were changed. Oh, okay, they cursed him. <laughs> that seems like a very witch thing to do. Uh, the closer he gets, the more aquatic he'll become until eventually he will just turn into a fish of some sort. Uh, mechanically I... speaking, this is a long-form version of Baleful po Polymorph. Can mm. I try to allay some of the cursiness? Or is it too powerful? Do you get the feeling that it is tied to the play, tied to the location itself? So something at the location itself will have to be broken before the curse can also be broken. Probably some kind of witch. I'm pretty sure you're aware of this, Joe, because you seem like a smart guy. You've been cursed. Um, it's fine. And you're you're going to turn into a fish. This um, worst thing is that like blah, 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 blah. Are fair enough. I'm. I'm just saying. <laughs> and I'll. I'll keep swimming. He does seem kind of determined, but after a my while, whole he... body just wriggling in the water. <laughs> Eventually, he does kind of come to a stop. Uh, at this point, he is missing all of his hair. It kind of having. He come had off hair in clumps. Yuck. I didn't even realize that he had- I thought he was bald. <laughs> well, he definitely is now. Sunshine turns back, nothing has changed. <laughs> He's, he kind of calls out, Captain, I'm, I'm gonna have to ask a favor of you. I... Look, I know I've asked a lot of you on this journey without giving you a lot and you've put a lot of faith in me. I, I appreciate it. But there's a creature in there that has to be that has been keeping me away from here. If you could slay that creature, I would be very appreciative. How many recall knowledge checks has he done, and do we get all that knowledge? <laughs> this creature, then. It's one of the sunken coven. Oh, one of the one of the old ladies, sea I, ladies. They're kind of touchy about their names. I've been trying to find it, but it's not being revealed to me. I but see. If you find her, and you'll know it's her. She she's looking kind of ghoulish. Then 
you drive your sword through her heart, and this curse on me will be broken. And I'll be able to help you out with your real problem with blue there. <laughs> you fish? Ghoulfish. I'm not seeing an L there. No, it's just Goofish. Uh, you know? <laughs> that goofish might are. be because That's I'm canon. illiterate. <laughs> Her name is Goofish now. Goofish. Yep. <laughs> it's incredible. I'll, Can't I'll... be Goofy, but can be Goofish. I'll go back to the ship. I'll, I'll let them know what's going on. He'll Goofish. Don't worry, I'll make sure they don't leave without you. Matt. Yep. They, well, they I don't, don't doubt the home. Well, I don't doubt the truth in what he's saying about the curse and killing Goofish. Um, is he planning to th steal our ship once he's no longer cursed? No, he is not. I'm not going to make you do a perception check or anything for that. He's not planning on stealing the ship. He's not, he's not. He wants to get into the temple. He yeah, is but very he may also want to get out of the temple. Mm. For you, I see a man who got ousted from his own temple. He's fine with it. He's not. Literal. He got kicked out of his home. You know who else got kicked out of their home? Sunshine's dad. Oh. What? Yeah. That's why we weren't there. Sunshine had a dad? Yeah. Presumably. A creator? You would have been, oh. if you're seaweed, you would have been like a little zygote spore thing that would have just been ejected well, out Sunshine, of another seaweed. Sunshine has a creator that uh, gave him life, <laughs> who is his dad who featured uh, at the beginning of this campaign, but has since left. No. Love that. Um, I, I assume I would have had, we would have had been wound treated and I would no longer yes. be wounded by now. Out rats. Are we Ow. to assume that this is all still underwater? This is all still underwater. Uh, communication no. is not an issue. I'll, I'll yeah. get it in front of no. that. That's fine. Um. So for people who are not, I don't know if it's whether they have a swim speed or not, but I think you're off guard if you're underwater in combat. Unless you have underwater marauder. Which or a do. swim speed. Are you sure if it's you have a swim speed? Um, um, I believe so. Uh, It'll it be would make sense if you, if you have a swim speed that you're not off guard. That seems intuitive to me. Um, do, do, do. Well, you can just breathe fine. Yeah. Um, I can breathe fine. What's fine? And why well, can no, I breathe you it? Have, you have water breathing, like the spell on you, so, you know. How long How long's left on that? Um, At this point, probably about 50 minutes. Wonderful. Cool. As you Not enter into item, this item, apply effect, silly game. As you enter into this <laughs> temple, um, of course, the aquatic theme continues throughout. Uh, the coral seems to have been more cultivated here than just naturally grown. And as you enter in, uh, the hallway stretches off to the east and to the west. To the east, there appears to be some sort of seaweed garden. Ooh, pretty. Is it a Matt, is garden? there like magical sunlight here? How is this seaweed photosynthesizing? Because we're too deep in the ocean for real sunlight. Um, apparently. It, there does... Or there's a cave. One of the two. <laughs> One of the two, it's fine. Uh, Mush. Yes. I've done it now. Um, but FYI, there are seaweed that do not require photosynthesis. 
That is very true. But there does appear to be kind of a magic light that's emanating from the clams. <laughs> also, some bubbles as well. Oh yeah, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> and I'm assuming... I'm gonna get chomped. Um, I'm assuming... well, Mosh and Sunshine, I need you both to do a fortitude save. Uh, Mosh, you'd be back to full hit points by now as well. Oh, lovely, thank you, thank you. Since this effect, whatever it is, doesn't seem to affect seaweed, do I get a bonus? I will give you a... I want to say a plus one, plus two bonus. Um, with hero points, can I roll them after I know if I've succeeded or failed? Um, yes. That's usually, right. I did look into it once upon a time. That is the case. Would this be a success or a failure? I am looking that up right now. That would be a success. Lovely, so I'm critically succeeding there. As the two of you kind of make your way into this garden, uh, you see little heads start to pop up from behind the clams. Oh, cute. Stupid clams. They're very cute. They're adorable. Look at them. Zoom. Enhance. I'm getting there, jeez. <laughs> and show players. Yo, you got little leaves stuck in their little fronds. <laughs> is uh, this an anemone? Anemone? Uh, this is a coral leshy from the Botanical Bestiary. Ooh. Ooh. And as they kind of poke their heads up from the clams, uh, they start to say something that's it sounds roughly like Leshy Sunshine. Mm-hmm. But kind of something a different dialect would be the best way to put it, I guess. <coughs> Neat. I'm gonna say hello. Hello, people from above the water. How are you? Oh well, I'm quite good. Um there seems to be something in here that's cursed one of my friends, so I was looking into that. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's okay, we didn't curse anyone. Hmm. But would you like to meet our friend? Or who's your friend? Uh! <laughs> Wait, wait, Meshies like are evil! Would we like a closer look at it? At I don't think we do. He seems to be quite slimy. He is quite slimy. I would say tumorous. That is one way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sheath completed work. Um, hey, hey I was guys. about to say the old hook and poke. I, I love the initiative. Man. This guy's great. Can we keep him instead of Fish Joe? This, uh, that, um, that looks like that... a guy that would say, oh, hey, guys. Can oh, I hey exchange guys. my weapons before, or is that something I'm going to need to do in initiative? I'll let you exchange beforehand. Okay. This looks like a guy voiced by Joe Pesci. Uh, <laughs> initiative. I'm going to use sure. Leshy lore for initiative, because I'm a Leshy. These are Leshies. We're all Leshies here. You know what? I agree. Is that a Leshy? I'd like to point out the majority of Leshies we've encountered in this world have been evil, uh, sorry, have been uh, in opposition to us and tried to kill us. Look, that hasn't been intentional, yeah. It's just, Matt I, I actually like hates me and um, really doesn't want me to have any Leshy friends except for that one pumpkin OC that he has. S statistically, Leshies don't like us. Sorry, is this creature named Globster? <laughs> ah, shiny. It is in fact <laughs> named. It is in fact a Globster. Down under the water, shiny. And surprisingly, has nothing to do with with lobsters. All right, we're ready to get this party started. I think we are. Oh yeah. This is how we do it. <laughs> Well, Mosh, 
I've, you I've watch, got the globster. You watch as this slimy creature rises up from the garden, like a compost mm. heap made from the various bodies and other things that these leshies have collected for it. Mm. Oh my god, a compostifer, is that you? The smell yeah, from this thing is obnoxious. E. But you have succeeded on your check against it. I don't Lovely. like the idea of a flesh compy. <laughs> now, my intuition as a player is that it's probably going to be immune to critical hits, but Mosh doesn't know that. Um, I mean, I Sunshine is probably going to handle it. Sunshine's got special runes for this sort of thing. Fish this way? Do that yep. thing. Oh man, that's it's a critical gonna be hit. It's going to be immune to critical hits. Yeah. <laughs> is it immune? Uh, uh, roll your regular damage. Fair. That's fair. Fair, fair, fair. Is it, um, is it? Do I still do, like, do I still up the weapon? Like, it's just a regular damage, right? It just doesn't take... It doesn't so do has... the... The ruling how is... How do effects that proc of critical hits work if it's immune to critical damage? Okay, like... so the official ruling is, and various people have asked Paizo about this and gotten confirmation, any other effects that proc off the crit do still happen it just doesn't mm -hmm. take the double damage do i still upgrade my weapon dice then i would say yes considering that ruling All so right. would you still add the fatal and deadly dice i believe so yes <sighs> How i would have to go digging otherwise do roll this. your damage right. roll your damage normally uh, then, do I, up I can upgrade the damage dice quite easily from the damage roll window. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I will just add an extra d12 for the dead. No, oh, I'm not actually in flow right now, so that's actually good. No, no. So I don't add any deadly. It's just fatal. I just upgrade the damage dice and add an extra dice. I think. Well, there you go. Uh, and that's piercing. All right. So that's gonna be fatal. All right. It's still pretty good. It's still pretty rad. Ooh. And I check Globster for stuff. Ah, he's immune to mental effects. Hang on a Why did you say that? I haven't even recalled knowledge on Globster. Yet. Exactly. I can't even. Yeah, that's my do, turn. You attempt to do recall knowledge on this thing. It resists no, you. I I'm gonna look up if Fatal still applies, even if they're immune, because that's still that seems pretty jank. Um, <laughs> yeah, give it a look that's up. It's still a lot of damage, so I'll look up. Anyway, that's me done. I mean, it's barely injured after 30 damage. Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm done. Sunshine. I am going to stride and hunt prey. And that will combine with my recall knowledge. Probably occultism. It's probably what you want for the weird slime guy. I mean, do you have slime lore? No, I don't have slime lore. Occultism will be fine then. Awesome. It's my hunted prey. I will give you that. Is it a critical success? Well, let me check. It is not a critical e success. Eat awesome. sand, Slimo. Uh, this is definitely an ooze. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is, is it an aberration? Um, you don't think it's an aberration? It looks like an aberration, man. I know. Uh, it is immune to mental effects and unconscious. Okay. It is also neat. immune to critical hits. Neat, neat, neat. That is about um, as much information I can give you. Yeah. Other than okay. it is called a globster. That's a stupid name. <laughs> um. He looks sad. So should he? You said he was immune to mental. True. Yeah. He's he's um, had a lot of growth as an ooze. Right. I think that's so bogus that he's not an aberration. Because I'm so good against aberrations. I know. I'm going to roll the hit. 
What happened to having a consistent theme, Matt? <laughs> Don't worry, that consistency is coming. 17, 17 damage. damage. Do I still get the specialization effect then? Yeah, apparently yes, yeah. Okay, so it literally just refers actually... to doubling the damage. That's the only thing that it me and D. What is my has. critical specialization? Oh, it doesn't show me there. That's so annoying. Uh, weapon spec uh... plus two. Really? Oh, you mean like the yeah? Uh, what are you using? Uh, e uh pole arm. Uh, push That's... five feet. Okay. Um, reposition. Yes. I really don't. Sorry. I um, should also add a plus two damage to mine because I actually per weapon die is the great pick specialization. So another two damage. I'm happy yeah. to do Shouldn't it be three? No, because um I only have two weapon die. Does well, your vicious swing add a weapon no, die? No base weapon no. die. You don't increase it with well, anything. Lame. I'm going to not reposition him because yeah. I'm kind of happy where he is. Yeah. Well, let's just see if that helps. There's no cliff. Yeah, no defenestration here. Yeah. It's really, this, uh... This is the real pain of the underwater temples, that's, everyone. That's my turn, though. That's three. That's three? And then the coral leshies are gonna sing Kumbaya and be our friends. Manifest it. <laughs> just manifest it. This will be fine. Yeah. They just want to see a really cool fight with their friend Globster, and they really want to be our friends. So, the Koroleshi will draw a spear. <sighs> You know oh what? That's God. outside the range of permit, but it's still gonna do it. Gonna throw a spear at me. Or Mosh. Mosh. Hey, yeah. Gonna miss a spear at Mosh. Wow. Weak. I Deserved. rolled pretty terribly then. Um, and then it's gonna take cover. Oh, to have chain lightning right now. <laughs> you want to kill everyone? <laughs> yeah, that's totally how it works, right? Are you inviting me to? And then this one's going to do the same. I mean, I have had the, the, the greatest amount of history with dealing damage to the party, so... I mean, to be fair, they're, they're actually, most of them are out of range to chain between each other. Sure. You, have to, you would have to chain off the party. Yeah, they don't Enough. really want to get too close. Oh, no. Yeah, you'd have to, like, chain off of Mosh or something. <laughs> Decent to hit I'll take There it. we go. Mosh likes taking damage. That's why we don't give him overguard. Nerd. Nerd. You're right, you're right. Yuck, 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 yuck. I'm gonna go alacrity because I have a feeling that I'm gonna be critting a lot just by poking this with you know, a natural two on the dice. Probably, yeah. Sola! You um... get the vague inklings of the smell, but you can definitely see like this little leshy down here is throwing spears at your friends. Oh, yeah. Cool. The spears seem to be tipped with coral as well. And if you've ever My stepped on like is coral, yeah. Like if you've ever stepped on a rock underneath the water, jeez. Oh no. Sola comes in, sees that we're fighting lushies, and it's like Christmas. <laughs> jeez. Solar's Solar. got beef with Lashies for some reason. Yeah, Solar's been secretly preparing defoliate this entire time. I wish. I don't even think that's a spell anymore. I'll just go for uh, this little lad. Question. There. Yeah. 
Would sunshine be able to be affected by flesh to stone, as sunshine is not made out of flesh? I think that's one of those things that Jam would have to make a call on. I personally would say no. Is it one uh, of those things where it's like the spirit of the spell is more important than the semantics? A little bit. In Sunshine's particular case, instead of like flesh to stone, it would be like seaweed to coral. Which I think oh, would it's be not really called. Easy. It's not called flesh to stone anymore. Transmute flesh. I don't know. Two action version it's, solar. It's yep. Called petrify. Where is this line coming from? Was it not an existing spell called Petrify? Pew. No, apparently not. Huh. huh. I'm and sure Petrify I'm would sure. work on um, Sunshine, as Petrify is one creature made of organic material, whereas Flesh to Stone did specify flesh. Well, one creature made of flesh, that's true. Mm. That will be a failure. You will do the entire damage. Yeah! Big damage! Yeah, is this going to apply? Does apply, excellent. What the hell? Wait, is it resistance to force damage? Hardness, probably. Ah, oh, lame. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, that's the Godzilla. Easy yeah. done. The last Coral Eshi. I think it's the only Coral Eshi that's actually in proper range of people. Are oozes? their own creature type then? Yeah. Yeah. I think they should just be sub-aberrations. Well, some oozes are just natural. This one isn't. <laughs> I'll tell ya. <laughs> the lobster is not. <laughs> it's like a gelatinous cube. It's like, are you telling me that's an aberration? Yes. That's just, Why is that's it in just, a cube? It's just a vat of sovereign glue that someone left out. Well, and then it just fell over. A cube is not a natural shape for any living thing. Until you put it in a trash compactor. <laughs> that's the, that's it's not the living way. then. Never was. Snooze. Oh, right. Mush. What is Globster? Sorry, doing? I'm just googling like, organism shaped like a cube. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> I know these people have grown tomatoes to be shaped like squares. Not naturally, they put them in jars. They absolutely well, that's do. Well, cubes, if that counts. No, that is that. That's actually a thing. What? There's a bunch of photos of people sh shoving their cats into cube-shaped vessels. <laughs> Yeah, but cats, cats are liquid. Are liquid. Yeah, cats are liquid. It doesn't count. Yeah. Really? Really? Critical mess, man. Try again, Globster. It's a, there's a box Just fish. Just for that. There's a, the, uh, a, a box jellyfish. The Tibetan <laughs> really? fox is one of the most cubular animals. Cubular? Really? Oh no, We're the box fish is so boxy. Come oh, on. it's pretty round. It's very boxy. It's it just... pretty round. Is this what we'll get? Isn't the globfish like actually terrifying when it's not like globby? Yeah, well, it's because people um, it doesn't. It's not supposed to be under that kind of pressure. No, uh, it doesn't decompress well. It really yeah. does not, and it looks absolutely terrifying in its natural environment. So, globster missed like three times. Yeah, um, I saw that. <laughs> Um... He didn't. I can't even use any of my fun reactions because it didn't hit me. Archie! <sighs> oh, the I height. wouldn't say it looks terrifying, it just I have looks like a fish. No clue how to approach this. You, because you're under the effects of the water breathing spell, you can cast your spells normally. Man, big brain move by me. Definitely thought about that. You might not have. Well, I did when writing this campaign. Oh. Uh, uh, I have to swim in order to. Uh, uh. This is calm water, so the DC would normally be 10. You do not have to roll. Yeah, but I still have to make distance, don't I? You do, so it'll be half.
Yeah, I um, still. Oh wait, no, hang on. He's smart. He's he's a smart one. Oh yeah. Uh, I will reach spell cast haste on Mosh. Oh. Nice. Lovely, lovely. Considering uh, as you don't really need to crit him, you just need to spend more actions. Yeah. Here's more actions. Just bump him till he yeah, dies. Just, yeah. yeah. Hit him till he's dead. And that's the end of my turn. Great move. <laughs> Great movement on my part. I mean, no, look. You've hasted like the big damage dealer who's right next to the big target. Yeah, Sun. Is oh. he a big damage dealer? Sun. Uh, uh, Mosh is. I was yeah. about Globster. Oh, Globster like, has other stuff going just on. Misses. Well, I didn't cast. I didn't cast it on Globster, did I? And I have two players. That would be Actually, silly. <laughs> start of the your turn, Mosh. I do need you to make a fortitude save. Certainly. Uh, I need to I get better really, for us. I'm gonna be okay. You also have plus one AC. Uh, gotta re-roll that. Even though I suspect it's still fine. Plus one AC. Eh. There we go. Uh, where did a, a draconic right? magic yep. did, did, did you. You will be fine, Mosh. The stench of this thing that is terrible. Like a seafood shop that's been left in the sun with that power for too long. Does if not I affect you. If I critically succeed, am I immune to it for like an hour? I'm gonna say yes. Because I will crit if I succeed on the roll. Because juggernaut, baby! Let me double check. This might everyone just... knows, Mosh has the biggest jugs here. I'm so uh, dirty. You are immune for the next minute. Makes me lovely. Okay, fabulous. Um, so, uh, with haste and alacrity, I am just going to go in for... Uh, she will be a critical. It's a hit! Um, so this is with Fatal. Um, so I will add the Fatal die. Piercing. This poor globby thing. Just minding its own business. He is not my- he's actively attacking Mosh. He's and attacking you as well, Sunshine. Also do- Did he attack me? He missed. He really did. Plus two for the... Crit specialization. Play on a VTT, they said. It automates everything, they said. Alright. <laughs> That's As I have said a couple of times, there are some things that are just easier at the table. Yeah, like reaching over for snacks. Alright, I've got two actions left. One of them has to be a stride or a strike, I believe. Yeah, that's um, correct. So I will do ambitious swing counts for two map, right? Yep, two for Except map. Unless, Unless you have got a feat this... that says otherwise. Yeah, I, think it's I have, an a, feeling, I have a feeling I'm going to be okay. Lovely. So that's just regular damage. You rolled like cool, a four cool. then? No, a six. I could do math. And then map is only gets to the lowest one that's there, right? It doesn't go Correct. Anymore. Excellent. Yeah. Alright. Yay miss, for a lucky Miss, miss. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you hit on a 12. Yeah, right, ask me again. Pork lobby. Alright. Couple of strikes in. You're putting a lot of damage into this thing, and the coral actually are looking aghast at this whole thing. <laughs> I shake out the rat. You shake out the rat. Rats. We go. Play. The rats. We go. For a moment there, I thought you had a new companion. But the rats. I thought you had been inspired by the uh, new Age of Sigma announcement and just gotten yourself a giant rat. <laughs> I would like oh, to see the rats school like those fish and just form different shapes. I mean, they are schooling at the moment. At the moment, like wishy washy. <laughs> um, and then I'm, I'm going fine. to command the rats. Yep. And the rats are going to swim 10 feet, as is their swim speed. Yep. 
And they are going to be one of them. Chunk. I'm just I just gotta say how adorable that would be to see. <laughs> what the rats swim out from a coat and then yeah. just attack the globster? Yeah, but like if if you've ever seen a rat swimming, it's one of the most adorable things I've ever seen. Shocking no one, it failed. Uh, it actually critically failed? It did. So it's gonna take 10, uh, 12 damage. Here we go. Do, let's see if this works. As fire was not on its weak uh, immunity list or resistance list. Oh, that's a good point. Oh? Does it not take fire damage? You're underwater. What? Well, it's, it's magic, Matt. <laughs> it's magic fire. Do you believe in magic? No. Oh, congratulations. Like you don't take the damage of, then. That kind of fire that can um, burn underwater, you know? Like um, magnesium. <laughs> I don't think your rats are quite that <laughs> blinding. I don't They're think like anyone's bad. making dazzle Easy checks at this stage. Got anything left, sunshine? Ah, uh, no, that's three. That being said, that would be pretty cool. Shake though. out, um, be and then rat. Magnesium rats. Magnesium rats. What kind of rats do you got? Yeah, I've got mag wheels and rats. <laughs> um. So the leshies are a little bit concerned for their friend now. Oh. They could call him off. Nah. Ugh. I am willing to come to a peaceful resolution that does not involve all of them dying. I would just like one of these creatures to, to hit. <laughs> Miss, actually. That one. Oh, they're flanking me. That's rude. What do you mean rude? You do the same thing. I would never. I would never actually flank anyone. Hey, That's a hey, mess, Foundry. By the way. Foundry, could could I roll above like a five? That would be great. No, Foundry, keep What that. does what does the encounter tracker say about this encounter? Is it severe? Uh, no, it's moderate. <laughs> Is it trivial? <laughs> I shouldn't put the bear. <laughs> I'll give you trivial. <laughs> um, I think you did, and we almost died to it. Actually, I gotta check their swim speed. Same as their ground speed. I mean. Oh, we got a hit! They're so cute, though. Why are they mean to me? Seven damage. Just because Don't... they're here doesn't mean they're... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> well, there goes the bomber! <laughs> Uh, okay, 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 and then a plus two piercing for the specialization. Exoskeleton Next broken deck. by a critical hit. I don't have deadly on this one, so it's not going to be as impressive. And it's not the yeah, swing. But you do but double, he's the, doubling dice. the damage. And oof, oof. <laughs> it's still a great pick. Oh, it's not. It's not as impressive as you one shot oh, hey, it. Look. Crunch. Hey, all I'm saying is they can surrender at any time. This... I like- I just like this idea that it just like boops Mosh's butt or something with the spear and Mosh turns around and just like deletes it, just... <laughs> <laughs> Does, doesn't even try to swing, just turns around and just gets caught in the pick. Oh, and I take an extra 7 damage pick because I got weakness equal to my level, so... And I've got to do a thing. Oh, what? Oh, I like this. This is fun. 
Because the Everleshies haven't been damaged yet, so... And is... are we affected by this? No. <laughs> is it... does it specify allies? In this uh, stupid creature effect? Normally, it would be plant creatures. But... I'm a plant! <laughs> no, that is very true. So you would benefit from this I'm as well. I'm unharmed, but I'm, <laughs> I am a plant. I want it noted. I've got the trait and everything. I uh, thought you were an aberration. Mean? No, that's Globster. Globster's an aberration. Sola. Okay, I don't have a swim speed. How hooched am I as far as walking? Uh, half speed, essentially. Half speed. So, I think it's five um, feet for every 15. I'm going to start walking towards Dish. Dish. the Leshy and using my poly tool, it's going to become the kind of tool you use to eat oysters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A shuck. There we go. I was going to say a shirker. It's like, no, that's not An quite right. An oyster knife? A, it, no, no it's, it's a shuck. It's three. Bernie it's Sanders? called an oyster knife where I'm from, but okay. Um. Blanket's not really great at the moment. Um, flank the rats if it went there, if it really wanted to. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, it couldn't. Mm. No, no, the angle's couldn't. a little bit off. It would need to be um, in blob globster. Well, that's actually a good point. Oh, they're attacking the rats. That's so rude. Leave our friend alone. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Sure, yeah. I guess. Can't nice critical hit a player. I have to critical hit animal companions, I guess. Yeah, that's that's your job. It is uh, literally your theme. Ah. Uh, Globster. So is that damage doubled already, Matt? I assume. Uh, yes, I rolled the crit. Yeah, it doesn't tell us in the actual calc. It doesn't show us the calculation, so we can't tell anymore. Uh, do do. Can I actually reveal that? No, I can't. Ah, boom. But yes, I did roll the critical. But for Globster, I didn't describe this as it happened. But as the coral leshy kind of died, and we saw like the verdum burst come out from it. Uh, Globster kind of instinctually grabbed it with one of its tendrils before kind of sticking it in its mouth. Ugh. That is how it gained the healing from it. What? It doesn't concern you that your friend just ate your other friend. That doesn't just seem... It just doesn't seem like a very friend thing to do. The experiment is working! It's working! <laughs> Uh, the most unhinged thing they could say at that point in time. I love it. Oh dear god. So you do not have missed. draconic blood magic. Oh wait, no, you do! I do. <laughs> oh. It hasn't been my turn again yet. <laughs> and you know what? It was absolutely the draconic blood magic. <laughs> oh. Modifiers matter. They absolutely do! For a moment there, I'm like, you don't have this. Oh, wait, you do. See, he's got the only hey. really interesting and cool abilities, but he just has to fucking hit. <laughs> that's, that's, a, one. that's another miss. That is two rounds of him just missing. Uh, now you Archie. don't have draconic blood magic anymore. <laughs> um, man, I no, I need widen spell for that. Man, everyone's all gathered round. 
A real just, shame if someone to was to. <laughs> just use your dragon breath from there. It's fine. I think it reaches. <laughs> it won't. It absolutely won't. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I could just I make... ray of frost. Uh, there's a chill in the water. I can use cantrips. Cantrips are a solid option here. How far away is the boys? Lobster is 65 feet. A good ray of frost away. <laughs> okay, those two are within 60 feet, though. Question, Matt. Yep. If I use reach spell on something like slashing gust. Yeah. Does that extend the reach for both attacks? Yeah. And do I have to have both hands free to cast it, or, or can I use the staff for one of them? Okay, so there is a discussion that happens about this, because Paizo has specifically said for the purposes of casting a spell, if you have a staff or a wand, it doesn't count towards, you know, needing a hand free. Mm hmm. But there's edge cases where we're like this, where there is some back and forth. The ruling for PFS is the staff does not count. So it does work. Cool. It will work. So if I use reach spell, I can I can slap Globster and one of his friends. Who absolutely can. Yay! Oh, I can spout them. No, doesn't reach either. All right, slashing gust. Uh, one on Globby Boy. Crunk. Oh wow, I crit. You Weird. did crit. Unfortunately, uh, it doesn't take double damage. And that one. Nope. Um, it does take the bleed though. You do take the bleed though. Lobster not immune to bleed. This one. Cut. Wow. Nice damage. There we go. Now he's got the bleed. And now he's got the slash in. All right. Uh, the other coral actually kind of just ducks out of the way as the gust of wind goes past through the water. Uh, Globster is not as agile as you'd expect. So he does, in fact, take the damage as more of the gross stuff kind of pours out from him. Mush! Um, I don't know what I'm going to do, really. Ooh, well, I was I about do? to say, you could swing at the coral leshies. Just what clear them I out. Do? Yeah, no, I think, I, I think she's getting to it, Matt. Don't need to pressure her. <laughs> But the coral leshies are like blanking and stuff. Nah, they aren't getting hit. Jules likes having less AC. I was about to say, I love that Jules is just completely <laughs> blowing past what I'm saying. <laughs> what can I do in my turn? I don't know. I think Jules is just tuned out. <laughs> and that's regular damage. Poor. Whoa, a crit! Amazing! Yeah. And then we have... Fatal D12 plus piercing, and then plus two for crit spec. Piercing, add that. Just all the toggles being clicked. Love it. Yeah, I think that's gonna be him done. And then I got one action left because of haste, so that's uh... now they're not off guard to me because I'm not part of the flank. That's correct. I think I think Foundry will account for that. Okay, that's just a regular old hit, which I can deal with just fine. Yeah, it's be done. All right. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Sunshine. Earth, just letting you know you can surrender at any time. Uh, and then I'm going to 
target this one as my hunted prey. Command the rats. Give me a reflex save from both of them. Do 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 do. Well, that's gonna be one success and a failure. Ah, uh, so that'll be ten damage or eleven damage. Um. And five on the success. We will take half. Oh wait, no, because we're underwater, so we don't get to deal fire damage. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. Look, if it helps, it's the same for acid. Bogus. <laughs> the way you say it, it's like it's like it's some sort of conspiracy specifically against you. It is against me. The whole world is out to get me. <laughs> I've done nothing wrong, I promise. Awesome. They can surrender at any time. I've yeah. put it out there. You have. That's the end of my turn, though. Uh, his reply. Well, you're flank, so... He's just gonna try to stab you with the spear. He can try. Guys, come on. Come well, on. Well, you're in flank sunshine as it just glances off the coral that he's wearing. Are you really seem to have a poor understanding of how coral works for being made of it? Yo, see? <laughs> oh, there we go. We got a hit. Thanks, flanking. For 12 damage. If Mosh wanted to use a reaction. Okay, I'll take it. You'll take it? I mean. Uh, I, would, I would very much like this, Leshy. <laughs> you just. Are you going to put him in the bag? I have, I have plans. Oh no. <laughs> Are you going to put the Leshy in the bag? Uh, look. It doesn't have much else besides the stabbing, so, um, it's just gonna keep on stabbing. Yeah, it didn't think there. I mean... Hey, Matt. What's up? That's what they call a miss. In the and again? There we go! Ah, uh, that'll be a hit. That's fine. Pretty good damage. And then I'm gonna recover it all as soon as we kill one. <laughs> Are you willing to consume it? No, I, I get the verdant burst because I'm a plant. Yeah, the glove star actually has to be close within reach to devour them. All right, that's him done. I'm I'm doing plant on plant violence, so I get buffs. Stola. Matt, I would very much like to pick this one up. Um, would that be agricide? Some might, uh, some yeah, might yeah, call yeah. it that. <laughs> really? That's a word that's never had a need to exist. The soul is trained for picking up leshies. Soul has a whole workout routine that just revolves around training to pick up leshies. Gets the forge you, DC. All right. That's still going to be a success. Uh, you have it grabbed. Using Great. the bag, I guess? Uh, no, using my hand. Okay. My, my free hand. Um, I would like to bring it over to this clam. <laughs> oh, no! Uh, you'll have to give me another athletics check. It is resisting. You got it, bud. Natural 20, please. Come on, comedy gods. <laughs> <laughs> Is Gene Wilder just kind of looking over your shoulder? <laughs> Are we in some sort of 80s movie and Gene Wilder's just your guardian angel or some fucking bullshit? Is that what we're dealing with here? Now, I'm hoping in one fluid movement I can use my shock to 
briefly open the clam, stick its head in, and then slam it like a car door. <laughs> oh, God. Give me an attack roll. Um, I'm going to give you a, what, I'll say plus two circumstance bonus, because I think this is funny as hell. Um, like unarmed or using a weapon or... Use your uh, weapon. Play using that poly tool that you pulled yeah. out. Yeah. Sure. For some reason, it's less... Oh, that's bludgeoning, maybe. It's less good than my other one, but let's find out. Um, That's probably because I yeah, gave you... Just go um, for it, man. Oh, never mind. Yeah, um, that will actually be a critical hit. Radical. Because I'm... Well, let me double check. Oh, he's grabbed. That's why he's, um... Yeah, no, okay. So yeah, that'll be a critical hit. Roll your critical damage for that. Yeah, listen, there's a lot going on. I understand if this is difficult to keep track of. <laughs> Six damage take six damage. Why no, did no, you no, 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 no. Additional environmental damage due to clam. Okay, first things first, that was a critical hit. So it no longer has its armor. And I consult a sheet that I've got from my good friend Sean. For clam damage. Uh, environmental Clamming. damage. Clamage. <laughs> Clamage, if you will. Um, and, you know, I'm going to put it there. I feel that makes sense. Yeah. Is, it, is it now grappled by the clam? <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That'll be you done, Sola. I just turned to Sunshine. I'm having a wonderful time with your friends. All right. Is, is this one going to surrender here? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Stream, you, you can't do that. And we go that, and we go that. Okay. And then it's going to stab you, Mosh. Mm -hmm. That'll be well, a hit. You know what I'm going to do. I absolutely do. Blood for blood for the blood god. Mm-hmm. Blood mm -hmm. for the blood god. Skulls for the skulls for the skull throne. Oh, sorry. I still have you selected. Let me just, uh... That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Mosh have Sunshine selected? Uh, I don't oh, know, maybe because at some point I had control of Sunshine as a character. And hey, like, just hang on one second. Just, just one second. Let's just yeah. see how well- Gotta it resolve the, the trigger first, Matt. Nope, no, no. Oh, ah. look at that, Matt. Look at that. Look at that, indeed. Oh. Just gotta remove its armor now. Oh, you, yeah, if you kill him, does that- that prevents the damage, right? No, no, no. The damage still goes through, but... Oh, we what? survived it. Well, oh. survived it. Okay. Well, okay, okay, that second hit, and we'll go through. It's fine. I hope so. Taking 13 damage as it stabs you. And that's going to take another shot. I too Amazing. can roll 20s. Incredible. And not against animal companions. Uh, can you? I don't know. I feel like Mosh is on the verge of being an animal companion. What with the whole lizard wow. vibe. Wow. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, that is its turn done, though. As we watch uh, Mosh enter his not final form, but getting close to it. Uh, that's my final form. Oh, the Globster just takes a bit of cheeky blade damage. That's lovely. Oh, let's just remove that from him. 
Because he's dead. Because he's We're immune to the unconscious it. condition. Does that make him extra stinky now? Because he's bleeding out? Oh, no, it's actually surprisingly better now. Uh. Almost like the stench goes away when they die. Which is kind of weird from the science perspective, but we're not dealing with science here. This is magic. Archie, it's magic. your turn. Wizards get He's it. in cone range. <laughs> He's in cone range. He is in cone range. I don't know why it thinks that I don't have a focus point, but it thinks I'm one focus point down, which is a lie. A damn dirty uh, lie. That's Dragon Claws, not that. That one? That one. Alright. So, I do a reflex save. You do a... Can I reroll my damage? No. But he'll take Cause double. Because you crit fail when I roll mostly ones and twos. I mean, there's got to be some good rolls. Oh, wow, okay. I mean, there's two fours in there. Oh, wow. He will take double. He'll dies. How big's the verdant burst on that? Ah, oh, Beans, if I was one foot, if I was five foot closer, I could have given Solar, um, Draconic Blood Magic. But I guess I'll have to apply that on me. Do I, I get healed? You do get healed, Sunshine. Awesome. Oh, right. I believe that's you done, though, Archie. No, you got one action uh, left. I have one action left, and nothing really to do with it, so I'm just going to cast shield. That is fair enough. You're going to do a one-action preen? I'll do, do a one-action dab. <laughs> Mush. Um, I can't stand in this square, can I? Yeah, you can. Yeah, can you I? can. Rats right. don't take up a square. Incredible. Alright. Um, so I will do that. And I've still got three actions left. Lovely, lovely. Okay. I will not vicious swing. I will instead just do three swings, I think. Let's see how we go. This poor Leshy. Just good old regular. That's fine. TD 10 plus 6. Good. I, I mean... get a plus one circumstance bonus to this because of my surge. And that's going to be... I'm going to make that positive damage. Positive damage? Or vitality. Uh, no, void damage. Should be void, void damage because they're living. That's death. Yeah. Um, what's going on here? Okay, cool. That's all fine. And it takes that. And last strike. That. <laughs> does it now, go? does that circumstance bonus get doubled as well? Should do. Should do. Should That's do. Alright. Cool, cool. Well. Void. Well. Yeah, I think you're gonna. Oh, wait. That's gonna be. Two. Circumstance. Void. And then two for. <laughs> Great specialization. <laughs> and then. <laughs> cool. That's all. That's all. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. That's all happening. That's all 50 happening. million damage. I was kind of right. 50 damage. Oh, no, he doesn't have his hardness anymore because boom, baby. Uh, that's my turn. Sunshine, you will get oh, 16 hit points. Other guy probably also gets it. He does, in Oops. fact. Shit, sorry, sorry. Let's try to click Marsh on. takes 100 and. No, 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 no. We're fine. We're fine. We You're are fine? so fine. Yes, yeah, so fine. Uh, before we switch over, we're just gonna remove these two. All right, sunshine. All One right, remains. I'd like to remind you of um, the offer I made your compatriots that um, 
you may surrender at any time, and I will accept that and not stab you to death. And then I'm, I'm uh, hunting I'm looking at him with flabby hands. And <laughs> then I'm going to remember to recall knowledge on him. Yep. There you go. Do I crit succeed? Uh, ooh. You do not. Oh, come on. That's like super specific lore. You are so damn close. Oh. Like you're a one off. No, no, look. What did I roll? <laughs> did the I roll real bad? Uh, I didn't roll great. Actually, no, because. Okay, so the applicable lore here is DC 17 for easy or DC 14 for very easy. So very easy oh. is representative of specific. That's Ooh. specific. It's lashy. It very much is. So I am going to allow the critical here. Amazing. So I get um a plus one circumstance bonus to my next attack roll. Awesome. So um the brine rats are going to move and support. And then I am going to strike. As they kind of school around and make it like a rat cage. This will be a hit. hit. I'd like for them to make a reflex save, please. Thank you. A reflex save? That's weird. I'd like for them to fail the reflex save. Actually, I don't think that ends up mattering because we're underwater and they can't become prone underwater. Especially when they got a swim speed. Ugh. <sighs> but it is nearly dead. Is it going to surrender? You'll have to wait until its turn. I think surrendering is a free action that <laughs> you can take at any time. I think surrendering is a reaction to seeing something you want trigger. You want to surrender. I I have never seen it in the core rulebook. So I'm putting it in exist. there actually. <laughs> I'm I'm making a supplement. Um Juliet just immediately bringing up a document and typing it in. Gets immediately accepted by the podge. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we'll have to ask one of the uh, mods. You anything on a PDF and Jules will allow it in the podge. <laughs> I mean, that's not quite true. <laughs> I think there's been a couple of things that have come up and it's just been like, nah. No, I've accepted everything. The only thing I've turned down has been um, a class that hasn't been complete yet, just because it's a pain to put into Foundry, it's an incomplete class. Yeah, which is absolutely fair. Um... What you doing, Sola? Sola seems to be grabbing the lashy. Is Sola muted again? No. I think Sola just, just thinks it's, it's clear that um, she's trying to grab the lashy. Well, it is in fact grabbed. I mean, I had to use an action to get here, so I can't really, like, put it... No, but mm. you can pull it over to the to the clam. I mean, no, I shot the clam, didn't I? So I can't Kobe it. <laughs> Wait, we're putting these things in clam. Solo too? wrestler <laughs> archetype win. I do this too much. You do. <laughs> um. You have a touch. I yeah, don't grapple no, too do. easy. I'm. I'm gonna. I assume this is minus five if it's not a nat 20 again. Um, minus four if you're doing minus it. Minus four. If it's a combat it. maneuver, if you're using a combat maneuver with your hands, it's considered agile. Neat. That will not do it. Oh, okay. Well, still got it grabbed, yeah? Yeah, you absolutely have it grabbed. Neat. Um, on its turn, it's gonna take the surrender action. Look, I do actually have a written that if they're like at single digit hit points and their armor's broken, they absolutely surrender. Oh, look at that. None of the other ones took me up on my offer. 
It did have the opportunity. So it's no longer resisting? It is no longer resisting. Neat. So we are going to close that one. Art, stop! Art, mm -hmm. he's surrendering. I promised him we wouldn't hurt him if we sur if he was surrendering. Well, that's what it is doing. Sorry, I do not speak, Lashy. I surrender. Art, and we thank you for your surrender. Now, what was it that you and your friends were trying to do here with this um weird um? Groblor or whatever. Globster. Ar, what were you doing with this globster here? We wanted to make more friends. We wanted to make more globsters. Ar, fair enough. Um, <laughs> any reason that you just decided to attack the first random people that walked through your door? You're from above the water. That's what globster is for. He is above water disposal. Art, well, technically I'm from under the water. If the seaweedness didn't give it away. Well, that's okay. He wouldn't eat you unless you were already dead. Art, well, thank you. Well, that's nice. He did try to attack me a couple of times, which makes me question your, your uh, claim there. But, well... It straightens um, itself up as much as it can in its current situation, well grabbed. And just kind of goes, experimentations are ongoing. Art, well, I wish you good in your, in your studies. I think they're fascinating. Um, if you can, when you're done with your report, send a message and, um, I, uh, I communicate where my address would be. I'm yeah. very interested in their, their academic work here. So. <laughs> sorry oh. about your friends. Um. That's sorry okay. Sorry about that. We can rebuild. Yeah, you can. And, um, uh, yeah. Gonna, gonna walk. There seems to be a way over here. And sure enough, you do actually see some, like, leshy spirits that are, like, little nature spirits that are floating in the water. You can see these sunshine. The rest of everyone else can't. No one else is in tune with the leshiness. Exactly. Um, but yeah, he... The coral leshy's kind of just being like, could, could you let me go? I'm not going to attack you. Globster's dead now. Well, gone now. We need to rebuild. Or Sola, if you could let him go. I will turn to my captain. Archie? I was muted. Well, in the clam. <laughs> <laughs> no, we... Yes to the clam, not him in the clam. Just put, like, a reasonable-sized stone in the, ra in the clam with... A length of s strong weed in it, uh, and tie him to the other end of that weed, so he's now pinned to that side of the the clam. What? And that he's rock will eventually become fine. a really nice. Uh, that 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 rock will become a really nice pearl one day. I I captain and Mosh will set about starting to do that. I think he seems reasonably okay with this. <laughs> Um, Sunshine basically message like from across the room, just like mimes. Write me. <laughs> if you get the thumbs up. Sunshine's very interested in in the uh, the Globster project from an academic perspective. Oh, of course. And no other perspective whatsoever. I mean, listen, Sunshine wouldn't be opposed to a monster that eats people. You know, that's true. That is very true. <laughs> so, you have a passageway leading further north, or from the way, from the direction that you came, there's things further to the west. 
There seems like some rad loot here, and by rad loot, I mean pearls, and so that seems pretty cool. If we want to go check this room out. Loot! Where's the loot, Matt? What do you mean, where's the loot? Where's, where's the, the like treasure? Some, there's some pearls in here. There is some pearls in there. Gonna walk. Again. Perception check. Is there anything else in this uh, the, in this room except for these pearls? Uh, so for those who are entering the room and having a look, this appears to be what the Bleshies were using as a workshop. Oh, uh, cool! They were in fact shirking the um shucking. Sorry, the <laughs> clams. Um, oh, shucks! But it appears they were mostly just discarding the pearls. Mm -hmm. See, these leshies haven't learned capitalism yet. They Sunshine will have capitalism. to teach them. Fools. A lesson. Bless but their little socks. Food is I don't absolutely think they have something. socks. Um, further to the north there, uh, Mosh. Mm -hmm. It whoa, looks like they. It looks how like how much kind of, pearls yeah. and how much are they worth? <laughs> They're worth a fair bit. Almost. 500 gold pieces worth of pearls. Well, I don't see a treasure chest for me to click on. No, there is not. Mush instinctively just starts trying to see how many he can fit oh. in his mouth. What? <laughs> What's that? That's a statue. Sunshine just starts putting them in the pockets that the rats go in, since the rats are currently out of the pocket. Is <laughs> he? <laughs> um. As for the top area up here, it just looks to be some sort of shrine of some sort. Oh, to who? Uh... Um, where was it? No, I don't think it's Grithu. Leshtifer? Oh, Leshtifer? <laughs> oh, cool. I like, I like throw Leshtifer like a little peace sign and walk out. Peace out. I'm not out. into Leshtifer, but you know. Now. As for the statue, if someone wishes to give me a appropriate magic check, so pretty much everything would be a Oh, here. I'll do Marcana. I'll do my occultism. I'll do my Can nature. I hunt the statue as my prey? No, unfortunately, no. Okay. Uh, I have no hero. Wait, did I get another hero point? At some point, you would have. Yeah. I think I did. You I, roll. rolled a, I rolled a natural 20. <laughs> sure. Matt, tell me everything about this fish. Uh, this is a representation of a veiled master, also known as an anglothu. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, a... I'm glad oh. it's just stone. They're an aquatic aberration. Uh, oh, aberrations! I I've got my old hook and poke out. Uh, they were kind of they're responsible for what are the Azaketi, also known as Gilfolk. How are they, they responsible kind of for, for them? For a moment there, I thought you were going to say they're responsible for all the bad things happening <laughs> in the world. No, Ow. that's Aradin. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but, um... Arid Aradin's a veiled master. Who to thunk it? I mean, I wouldn't put it past him, but no. I mean, isn't uh, Aridan also kind of responsible for the Azerketi, though? A, a little bit. So, okay. Uh, the Veiled Masters wanted servants and slaves to do their work, so they dragged humans underwater and just kept on feeding them their slimy mucus that allows you to breathe underwater for, like, three hours. And, mm. you know... A constant diet of mucus to stop you from drowning eventually led to them, you know, growing gills and things. Wild. There's more to it than that, and the glory is a little bit fascinating, especially the whole uprising that they did. But for the purposes of this, that's pretty much it. Why? Why do you hate me? Why do you hate me going one more? Oh, there we go. It's gotta be a Did bit of a squeeze. Like that. Hey, I that's mean, a it's not a squeeze for the rats. Now, as you enter this room. Oh, hey. Oh, well, speak of the devils. How's it going? 
It does not Weird appear to have guy. immediately noticed you. What is it, man? Uh, it is a representation of the thing that is on the statue. Oh, okay. It it's is a, a representation. Rep Wait, what? I think not it is a version. It is, it is the thing. The statue is a representation of this thing. Um, so... Does it have any weaknesses that I would have identified off that nat 20 on the statue? Uh, it has no immunities, weaknesses, or resistances. Okay. That's annoying. What's its weakest save? <laughs> <laughs> uh, reflex. Okay, I'll pass that along. Okay. Mm I like Otherwise, that it doesn't have a mouth. Um, it like... doesn't even, it's kind of not even registering that you're there. Okay. You can hear some, like, vague mumbling coming from it on the currents, <laughs> and it does appear to be worshipping, I guess. Um, I'm going to stealth. I will this also means... say, there is a door to the south, like here. Yeah. Um, otherwise, Ow. it's also... Is there if... anyone else in the room? Not that you can see. How difficult does it seem like this guy would be for us to stab to death? Mm, you did get a natural 20. You get the feeling that it is on par. Okay, cool. Is oh. Mosh still badly injured, or...? Yeah. I'm very, very hurt. <laughs> I assume we would have spent some time healing Mosh. Pull back, heal Mosh, and then come back and... And Sunshine motion stabbing. Hmm. I think that's a solid plan. Yeah, I'm gonna duck around the corner. Alright. Well. Sunshine, as you kind of return and kind of make everyone makes their way back, uh, I will also let you know that you notice a glint of silver and bronze around one of its tentacles, around the base of one of its tentacles. Oh, cool. Like it's, like it's got a prosthetic? Oh That's no, cool. like a, a fine piece of jewelry. Oh, okay. It's got a key, I think. Bracelet. That's, that's significantly Bracer. less cool than, than uh... <laughs> That a prosthetic the cool tentacle? Prosthetic tentacle. More disability representation in fantasy, don't you know, Matt? I think that's the wrong genre for prosthetic tentacles. <laughs> Sam is kind of is quite right there. All oh. that said, I will leave the session there tonight. <clears throat> what? It's been three hours. Or a little bit more. Yeah, I'm breathing. We've come up for air now. But with our pirates having finally made their way to the cauldron and entering what absolutely feels like a cursed underwater temple of some sort, uh, mm. they are slowly making their way through, making new friends, killing new enemies seeing all sorts of new weird and interesting creatures i've made a new friend you have made a new friend a scientist that makes oozes with all that it said seems however, pretty rad if you want to find out what happens next week when our players potentially fight one of the last of the veiled monsters well not last one of the veiled monsters you will have to join us next week at saturday 5.30 Australian Eastern Daylight Time will be continuing Voice the Colors for Pathfinder 2nd Edition by Paizo Publishing. Powered by Foundry BTT with music by Michael Gelfi. Be sure to check out the VODs for this on YouTube. And once again, a big hearty thanks to everyone who is watching these on YouTube. I super appreciate it. Uh, otherwise, be Hello, sure to... YouTubers. Hello. Someone suggested I should also like live stream to YouTube, but it's like, but but then I have to have another chat window open and respond to them and, it's and like, then i have to get more channel points uh, but thank you everyone who has been watching it on youtube i super appreciate it otherwise i put these up these are on twitch for as long as they're up 
so you can always watch them there. But the ones on YouTube are slightly cut so you don't have to go sit for all the breaks and things. Otherwise, I hope you have a good day, a good night, a good week, no matter where you are in the world. We're gonna find someone to raid. I'm hoping Dwarf is on at the moment. He, he is just... doing Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. He is, he Wait, is doing... Wait, no, Final Fantasy. Same thing. <laughs> Close enough. Exact same property. No, uh Yeah, he's doing but a the same thing, because in Final Fantasy, their spells have funny names. He's doing something of a chill stream at the moment because he's not feeling well. So when we do go Ooh, in, rough. if we could kind of just wish him well, and I hope, we hope that he feels better. Well uh, wishing. And all that other fun stuff. <laughs> Down under, I can type. This is fine. Right? Good to know. Right. All right. So, all it said, like I said, hope you have a good day, good night, a good week, no matter where you are in the world. And remember... As always, we are the storytellers. Good night, everyone! Bye. Bye. Bye.